my, my post nasal drip is going, my sinuses are inflamed, <clears throat> my throat is gunked up. What is going on here? Snort, 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 coke, drip, snort, snort. Are we live? I think so. Snort, 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 snort. coke, and drip, snort, snort, I got the snort. Damn, I got the drip going. I got the drip going. Clear your throat, blow your nose. Damn. Clear your throat. Please, Timmy. All right. I'll, I'll give you a big sneak peek of something in a second. Oh, it's like a faucet that's dripping. Damn. Snort. 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 Coke and drip. Snort. Snort. I got the drip. Go. Snort. 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 Coke and drip. Snort. Snort. I got the drip. Go. I got the drip. Go. I got the drip. Go. I got the drip, 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 go. Can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a all right. You we can make it stop for a second. And now a, a special, special leaked song. Get a load of this. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat. Big ups. I first saw you in Burger King. You took two seats, cause that ass is way too big. Had a boyfriend, I realized. With your raccoon eyes The door dash is here Wipe away your tears Got you extra fries And they taste just right Have no fear There's no trolls here Kevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes. Kevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. This is the uh, this is something I whipped up in the last like half an hour. I thought it would be funny to make a song and try and steal his wife. Imagine if I do, dude, that would be amazing. I would like to steal a a beast of a woman like that. Uh, let's go on the YouTube thing. Welcome. This is um a thing that exists now. It's a stream on the internet. It's a broadcast. And if you were wondering what a broadcast is, back in the day when I lost my job the helicopter company broadcasts weren't really that popular but then they kind of became popular and then like a broadcast is something that you like broadcast on the internet you know you know what i mean Bleh. so let's see uh dsp gaming uh burnell uh productions thing the 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 thing the thing oh gotta go fast oh we're gonna do the hat today we're gonna do the hat and apparently he was like super salty yesterday because he played fucking uh, Call of Duty. And uh, I guess it can check out some of that gameplay because it's hot. Uh, big ups, Nude, for the membership. Ah, big ups, welcome. And thanks to everybody who just hit 13 months. This is a bunch of people. This is uh, Henny Hentai, Dayglow Hour, Dabby, Scumbag Josh, Cobold Heart for four months. Big ups. And uh, Ebloke for five months. That's a big uh, streak of contributions. So appreciate it. Uh, okay, before he starts, because he's going to start in like, what, 10 minutes. So he's already live. He got 50 people watching. Oh, yeah, we're going to wait for a bit. Let's watch some uh, elite Call of Duty gameplay from like a basically basically an esports player at this point. He's been playing Call of Duty since it existed. So he's probably real good, right? right? We're heading into the second half of the stream with the Kostov assault rifle 
Um, I'm the wood assault rifle, which is good. I'm getting slightly better with it. I feel. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see what happens. Of course, I, let's uh, uh, let's do a social experiment. Look up the transcript, and I'll uh, write some uh, some offensive words to see when he got super salty. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what it, what would he say. Let's see an idiot. I'll look up idiot. Oh, this fucking idiot! I hit him like five times. He didn't die. Bleh. Let's see idiot. Did he say it? Oh, he said it only six times. His teammate is shooting at him. An idiot. Congrats. Let's see this. He dies a minute in. He's already toxic. Oh shit! What happened? Fuck! I took. I looked at the chat. I looked back. Everyone's dead. It's almost like you shouldn't be looking at chat while playing Call of Duty. <laughs> this sounds shitty quality because otherwise it would lag a lot. Because my setup is great. I'm a professional. That's my teammate shooting. Whole time detracting. Rats. <laughs> okay, let's see the next entry for idiot. Let's see where it is. Next one. Got killed. Stay here, of course. He gets killed. He's an idiot. Oh, someone else is an idiot because they got killed. Got killed. Yeah. I stay here. Of course, he gets killed because he's an idiot. <laughs> he gets killed, his teammate gets killed because he's an idiot. But DSP camping and is on, on like 5 HP, he's not an idiot. He's a genius, matter of fact. He just fucking doesn't get the cover because he's dunce. Yeah, what a fucking dud. Why is he so unnecessarily toxic to his own teammate? What the fuck, man? What the hell? I'm just staying here, I'm not moving. That's yeah, it. so he's gonna camp because he's not an idiot. Let's yeah. just camp in Call of Duty. Let's just camp. There's somebody coming. Does he even hear people on the uh, on the neck phones? Because you can hear the footsteps usually. There. Okay, very nice. Didn't do anything. He got shot. I got He's him. About to die. Oh, he got him. Amazing. That's what I'm telling you. He's a, a pro. Oh, and then he got knifed. Did he get knifed? The side. Too bad he doesn't look at kill cams to learn from his mistakes. He just dies and then repeats the same thing over and over again. Let's see the next idiot. Where do they come in? Idiot number three out of six. Okay. Uh, let's see. Immediately murdered from behind. None of my teammates. They're all idiots. All of his teammates idiots confirmed. Let's check this out. Immediately murdered from behind. You know, none of my teammates went to Charlie but me because they're all fucking idiots. They're all fucking so idiots. We immediately. Now we have no fucking objectives. <laughs> we have no objectives. He's at B currently and they have that objective. Yeah, they're... But never mind. I think right now... Oh, his team sucks because he got killed. My team's pathetically bad. My team is pathetically bad. Look at your KD. Let's see it. Open the leaderboard. He goes super salty at his own team. This like the worst type of Call of Duty player. He's he's toxic at everybody. He's salty at everybody. Everyone sucks and they're all idiots. As indicated, are you an idiot they now? Yeah, have UAV. Yeah, they shot you from behind. Are you an idiot? Does that make you an idiot? You didn't even see who killed you. You fucking idiot. They're already in every choke point mow mowing us down as we spawn. What a bunch of fucking right dunces. Yeah, it's your team's fault, I'm sure. Fuck yeah, throws a grenade and dies. What a what a genius. Semtex right in there. There was a guy standing right there. Didn't die, I don't know. Yeah, he really is like a like a Counter-Strike 1.6 player. Not even a CSGO player. The old school 1.6. Where you die and you call everybody else idiots. And then they plant the bomb. Bleh! Rush, be suka, rush! Alright, fuck this. Rush! And then you die. And then they die. Uh, uh, the, the cool thing is that, that Russians, they call you crab instead of cancer. Because what they're trying to do, and, and uh, they try and call you uh, cancer, but instead they call you crab or lobster, which is amazing. So the, you get a bunch of people typing in chat lobster, and you try and wonder what that is. And they're actually trying to call you cancer. It's my teammate, but I couldn't tell. Okay, uh, Dude, rip. you're literally at every fucking flag camping and getting insane kills. What uh, oh, his team was trash. Did you see this? His team is trash, but he's like third. Right, let's see that. You're literally at let's every see that. fucking flag. Oops. Oh, yeah, DSP Gaming. He got 250 points. And the top guy got 725. And you get points for getting kills and playing the objective. So he ain't doing any of that.
like camping and getting big ups kill. phil what the fuck let's see the next uh the next idiot so we got to what number four idiot number four the door is a fucking idiot okay so a door is an idiot now let's see where it is we're losing charlie okay Open the door, you fucking idiot! What? He opened it immediately, bro. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> he didn't even have time to get salty, and sometime, somehow he still got salty. Am I drinking? I just poured a beer. If that counts. Again, you notice I always am aiming slightly right. I wonder if it's me, you know? I'm always just slightly to the right. Of the How are you slightly to the right? Let's get a replay on this one. Yes, because you were aiming to the right, dumbass. Again, you notice I always am aiming slightly right. I wonder if it's me, you know, I'm yeah, it is you slightly to the right of the enemy. I'm never dead center on them. never always dead center Rip. slightly. Let me just see in case he goes live so I don't miss him. We need to snipe him with the AWP with the AWP. Well, he's not even in chat at this point. He's just ghosting. Okay, we're sitting here like someone who's not an idiot. You don't have cover though. Why are you just sitting there? Anyways, let's go to the fifth idiot. Five out of six. And then we're going to look up morons. We're going to look up morons. Let's see who is idiots. Oh, somebody who's laggy. Oh, some asshole is lagging like again. Full of lag in this match, even though it claims a 60 millisecond connection. Fucking idiots. Fucking idiots. They lie about the ping. How dare they lie about the ping. Maybe your TV is too slow. You should have picked a more expensive one. Buy one from like $5,000. Because you're not paying for it anyways. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I think here he's getting salty. How? <laughs> there was no way those bullets missed his head. Bro, he literally was just spraying and praying. Terrible. Look at this. Look at this. Who shoots like this? Covering your six. How? He hit him like one time. There was like one shot that landed in this. And he, he sprayed like 10, 10 shots. Maybe even more. There was no way those bullets missed his head. It was like pop, 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 pop. It was just one shot that hit. And somehow he avoided dying. Oh, yeah, somehow. Hey, get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Okay, so this was the last idiot. Let's check out Moron. This is the next one. Oh, there's zero Moron. I guess, uh, I don't know. Maybe the transcript picks it up in a different way. Maybe it's Morad. Maybe that's uh, easier. But I don't know. What, what else is a... Uh, Let's look up stupid. Let's see how many stupid things happen. Oh, the, there's eight stupid things that happen. Uh, oh, and he calls himself stupid. Let's see why. We have taken the lead. Wait a minute, I have battle stem. Why aren't I using it? Because I'm stupid. Oh, you are, yeah. Okay, let's check out the next one. Sometimes my emails get delayed, which is stupid. Let's see Apologies, what. I did not shout that out sooner because, like I said, it, there was no uh, email that came through. This happens sometimes. Sometimes my emails get delayed, which is... The emails are laggy. It is what it is. Um, and when the emails get delayed, I can't see them come through right away. And I have to rely on people telling me that they tipped to check it out. So sorry about that. So with that, first of all, we're at $29 in tips. That also means that we get a nice $10 tip animation. Okay, fantastic. How much did we end on? Uh, I don't even know if this is the last one, but oh, 51 for this one. It wasn't well, a well, very. When everyone says is good. I guess the 70, 74 U or whatever. Wasn't very busting. Wasn't very busting. Let's see, four out of eight. But I don't know if this is the last part or not because all of his stuff gets uploaded as a mess, and you can't really tell which part is which, uh, unless you look. Oh, okay, okay. This is uh, this is something stupid, quote unquote. Did you see how many fucking times I sh Let's see, this is gonna be great, Salt. Salt. Okay. Just one shot landed. Then he missed with the Semtex. Then he missed with this, apparently. Oh, he's so bad, man. He's so fucking bad. Nobody's ever, ever told him to burst fire. And he gives you this fucking surprised face. Oh my god, did you see this? 
Dude, little children know not to spray and pray like this. What do you expect to hit? There is recoil involved. What are you shooting with? A fucking... I don't even know what shoots like that. Did you see how many fucking... Did you see? Got him? Look at this. He goes out fucking spraying. Look at how goofy he looks on the kill cam. Goes out and sprays. Secure the victory. Like he's on a drive-by or something. Oh my god! Oh, and this was another death. Okay, go, so get a load of this. <laughs> he, like, how many bullets did he shot? Hold on, 30? He, he shot like 20 bullets, legit. Legitimately 20 bullets. So he's at 30 now, it's a full magazine. And, yep, he, he dies at 10. 20 bullets! 20! Dude, imagine if you could kill a guy with one bullet. Only if you aimed a little bit. Did you see how many fucking times? Did you see? Him? No, you didn't shot him. He shot him like twice. And then the dude just shot him twice and killed him. Took him down. Even on his kill cam, it showed me hitting him a million times. Oh yeah, a million times. Yeah. Million times. <laughs> Terrible. And now he's gonna go back to the same guy. And Incredible. And he dies again. <laughs> he dies again. This is fucking insanely stupid, man. This is so stupid, man. How the fuck did that guy not fucking die? The enemy's captured two objectives. Move to secure. Oh, bruh. This is something else. Fuck this. It's fucking pissing me off. It's fucking pissing me off. He's still stalling, by the way. It's 20 minutes after he was supposed to start his work day. But wait, what happened? I was looking at my phone to see if he was started. So. He goes to the same guy who was camping and dies from somebody else. Fuck Phenomenal. This. Fucking pissing me off. Fuck this. Fuck this. So this is great gameplay, by the way. This is what he's gonna post up on Twitter as fun, chill, and interactive. And a fantastic game session. UAV is active. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the kill cam. Oh my god, the, the dude got camped out. Wow, what a filthy camper. Filthy camper. But it's okay if DSP dies like that. It's okay if he dies like that, because that shit is hilarious. Big ups, uh, Buttermilk Buddha for this. Oh. It's great, I love it. not on the screen. He was not there. What do you mean? You, you didn't look there. You just ran past it. You didn't look there, come on. Let's let's get an instant replay, just so you know it, he didn't look there. Right? Yep, the dude was right here on the left side. He didn't look there. He just went past. Just went past. And he got cucked. Where cucked. the fuck is he? No, what? What? Oh, what a legend. He was not on the screen. He was not there. There was no enemy. What? No. There was no enemy. What the fuck was that? He has a invisibility cloak. They unlock that in the in the battle pass. Uh, I, dude, I'm about to give up. I'm yeah, give please up. give up. This is not like legitimate professional gameplay. This is not legit. As uh, as DSP goes live, so let's go check him out. Uh, hello, hello. Today is the eighth of November, nineteen sixty-five, and we're having fun on level one. But. And we're gonna repeat about three or four topics from yesterday, so get ready, strap in. What? My name is Chicka Chicka B B Beggar, and I clicked something erroneously. I erroneously clicked on good King morning, Jad's stream. And welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, asshole. What is happening? Why are we frozen in time? Okay, let's give it a quick uh, restart. We're not missing anything anyways. I just told you what the date was, so we're not missing anything, literally. Let me see if I can fix that for just a second. And uh, how y'all doing? Uh, amazing. What did I click now? I didn't even click anything. We're, we're just lagging. Well. Uh, somehow I'm going to blame it on him, even though it's my fault. It's, uh, it's DSP did it. Stop doing it, DSP. Hopefully you're ready for some fun today because today is going to be an exciting day there. I look much more human now. Oh, yeah, so human. New release. Hype new release. Detroit Game become back. human, oh. more like. Wondering. It's going to be good. Oh, this, I fucking hate this t-shirt, man. This t-shirt is trash. This shirt looks like a, a man-child in it because it's like an actual boy shirt. 
Like, kids should wear this. I don't know if today... This weirdo, like, tie-dye colored shirt with a Sonic logo. New release of Sonic Frontiers is... Yeah, is he too quiet? I'm gonna turn him up. ...views are all over the place. Um... Certainly, for those of us who are fans of Sonic, we want a new hype 3D Sonic game. We've had our fill of the retro stuff with Sonic Mania, and earlier this year we had the Sonic collection of the classics redone. Big up Smearcat. Audience with I love banana. And the like. Tasty banana. We want Put a banana new Sonic in my game mouth. Squeeze that banana. Sonic the clapping era hands. And that clapping hands. It's clapping so hands. Weird. Yeah, big up Studio. Yeah, Thanks for one, Super Chat. But two. Squeeze banana. Successful Sonic movies. But we don't have a modern Sonic video game that's really had any kind of success, right? You know, you have Sonic Frontiers, Sonic Boom. They all just flopped. <clears throat> so today, we're very excited. Except, did I say Sonic Frontiers? Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces, Sonic Boom. Um, today, we're trying Sonic Frontiers, and I'm excited. I hope it's good. We're playing it on the Xbox Series X. Um, again, I've heard many different things about it, okay? Um... I don't know exactly what it entails besides it's open world and it's going to have some wild like courses and tracks to run on. But besides that, we're going to find out today firsthand. All right. And uh, I'm happy to be doing this today. You know what? I get, it, it should, Let's get this out of the way. Let's get the elephant out of the room. Are we going to get he's toxic? Here in the corner. He's looking at me. Oh, no. It's this glitch. Yeah, it's elephant, a weird you, glitch. Like when they stare yeah. at me. So let's talk some about dumb it. shit. <clears throat> You will likely notice the vast majority of major content creators and streamers today on the internet will be playing God of War Ragnarok. Okay. okay. So now, like right now, they're already playing it. <laughs> Why are you not playing it though? What what is this weird cope segment? Let's let's uh let's dive in. And you might say, yeah, Phil, I don't get it. Why are they playing God of War Ragnarok? Doesn't it come out tomorrow? And the answer is yes. But as you guys know, oh, it's the guys shills. Strongly a critic of over the last several years. It's the shills. People now get games early. Yeah, they're better than you, DSP. Cope with it. Cope with it, you fucking loser. There's actually a whole process to do it. Want to know the process? I can tell you because I know all about it, okay? If you're a content creator with a following on the internet, you apply to be on the contact list and or mailing list for any of several... Uh, PR agencies that represent games, game studios, and publishers. Okay. Okay? Basically, you'll, you'll have a contact who is the person you reach out to whenever there is a new game that you're interested in, and you're looking to get an advanced review copy for free. Okay? And, you know, I, I, you know, I know all about the process. I know exactly what it is. I don't do it. Why not? And we'll talk about that in a moment. Oh, because he's legit. We're going to transition into this. And he's about to uh, he's about to snort. Look at this face. This is the face he does when he snorts. Yep. There we go. What you do is you reach out <laughs> to these guys. You register with them. Okay. And then when it comes time around... The I don't do this because I'm fucking honest. Because I'm real. I want to rely on people's real support. Not on some fucking money uh, fucking corporations. When new games are coming out, they'll actually reach out to you. And say, hey, here's a list of all the games that we represent. Are you interested in any of these? You know, what format would you like them for? Big ups for the, yeah. for the membership, and beauty. Essentially, you Big apply ups. to get early games and, and release copies, okay? Right. And if you're That's how life works. enough for various different reasons, because there could be many different reasons why you qualify, uh, you'll get an early copy, and then you get a bunch of <clears throat> qualifying criteria of what you can do with that game at what time. There'll be an NDA or non-disclosure agreement you have to sign to say, I will not violate this agreement. I will not spoil the game early. I will not post up gameplay or anything early past the date that I'm allowed to. Um, what are the criteria? <laughs> okay, DSP, get to the point. We know what the point actually is. The point is, I am good. They are not good. Games early. The size of your channel and or your stream, whatever it is that you do. Um, your notoriety in the community. Like okay. For example, if you're known as someone who covers a game for a certain reason. I don't think notoriety is a good word. Isn't notoriety like being infamous? Accessibility. Probably not, you're though. Running. Yeah. You know, I'm just being like European. That. You know what I mean? Like, if, like Digital Foundry, right? They're the guys who do the tech stuff. So they're going to get the games early to review it for tech purposes. You see? Um, so basically, there's a, there's a bunch of qualifying criteria for it. 
you apply and you get rejected. The more times you get rejected, the more legit you are. The more, the more times you get rejected, the more honest you can be with your audience that you need their money because you get rejected. I mean, you deny the offers because you're too real. Like he is. He's too real. He's too real for reality. That's why he invented his own reality where he's real. Right? And then if you're deemed worthy enough, I know that sounds like Big ups my channel or whatever i'm actually not this is the process if you're deemed worthy enough to get an early copy of the game you'll be notified and usually not only will you get a copy of the game but with certain games you'll get what's called a press pack so you'll get a bunch the of information press pack. Game, you'll get how did emotions. we get from sonic to go uh i don't know it's a speed run he just wanted to address the elephant in the room which was him hating on big creators that get to play a game early Additional material some talking points that you can mention in your videos hey big ups duty for the 10 memberships guys uh enjoy people that pick them up be thankful throw up some prayer hands in chat or social media to advertise the game because yes even though you're not being paid to it's inherently important. i'm gonna mute this alert because it's gonna get too annoying you're going to do advertising for it to kind of do a you scratch my back i'll scratch yours mentality promote their game they'll continue to provide free games ahead of time to you yes that's what access media is dsp everybody knows about this this has been a thing since access exists come on get real we all know how this works you just don't get to be in that club of people that get it and you're salty and he twists it as in well actually this is sour grapes. Those grapes are sour anyways, so I don't want them, even though I really like grapes. That will benefit Bleh. business in the long run, you see? <clears throat> Sometimes they even send special edition stuff. Like some people have gotten a pack with the game, but also like a special edition controller that's branded to the game and all kinds of swag. Okay. I got a sweatshirt. I yeah, for the, for the first God of War, a bunch of people went to like, was it Finland? Was it Norway? On like vacation? Where on my stream and all kinds yeah. of stuff like that, depending on, again, the size, the prominence of your channel and stuff like that. All right. Now, in extreme situations, there have been times when these companies actually fly certain content creators out to special launch party events and things that they then cover in detail. They get super advanced access to the games before the games even come out. That's definitely the exception to the rule. Okay. In the modern day, usually it's just you get on that that list of favored gameplay streamers and or content creators for whatever reason and then you get every game for free early okay so in the case of god of war ragnarok okay a lot of people got it early a ton all right in fact you know i was just looking around at some people who were saying oh i'm playing it early or whatever people who have channels less less than half the size of dsp gaming dsp gaming's actual size is like 2000 so yeah no that that's not a that's not an actual parameter what matters is how much engagement you get and how many people actually care and watch your stuff all right with that's not what matters viewership less than half the subs actually got a copy of god of war ragnarok early okay right. i'm not complaining all right i'm not saying that i wanted it early i did not as i told you guys i am staunchly staunchly against this practice I believe this creates why because you don't get any because you don't get any that's why you're staunchly again against when he got the assassin's creed odyssey um whatever sponsor stream he wasn't against it he fucking slurped that shit up it was amazing it's a group of people who are seen as the the fucking elitists golden content creators i think it gives them an unfair competitive advantage in the business competitive uh, advantage in general i don't think that anyone should have that ability to cover a game early like that. Um, there are a few distinct exceptions. For example, yes, I think Digital Foundry should get a game early because they're not game reviewers of the content. They're game reviewers of the technical performance. That's a little different, and they need extra time to do that. I think that someone who's reviewing a game for accessibility purposes... Oh, Super Blind Cuck. The game early. There we go. Shout out to Super Blind Dude. Game for people to know on day one, can I even buy it and play it for my requirements for accessibility? Uh, they did announce the requirements for accessibility in advance. They announced that shit in advance. So, yeah, they would know. So there's some people who absolutely should still be getting these games early. But in general, the vast majority of people who get games early should not be getting them early. It doesn't serve any extra purpose to be getting it a week or two early, to have a review out a few days beforehand. It's ridiculous. 
Today, most people trust the independent reviewers over the mainstream media anyway. What is independent reviewers, though? Is Skill Up an independent reviewer, even though he gets those games in advance? Is Angry Joe? Why do we care? Come on, DSP. Have the Come on, DSP. Early. It doesn't make sense. You fucking cuck. In fact, a lot of the times, it's a double-edged sword that comes back to bite the game makers, because take a look at God of War Ragnarok. The plot leaked last week. Luckily, I've avoided it, but... People have been spoiling the shit out of this game all over the internet, and it serves them right. They just shouldn't have been sending out copies that damn early so that idiots would spoil it, which they always do. It's always, it's not even like the exception to the rule anymore that it gets spoiled. It always gets spoiled now. Every major fucking game will get spoiled if you send it out early. So everything gets spoiled. Figure this out. Yet. Everything okay. fucking gets spoiled nowadays. So today, I don't know what the point of this rant is. When you're I mean, I know what the point is. All over the internet. And you're like, why is like almost every single content creator and streamer streaming God of War Ragnarok and not Phil? Uh, because uh, DSP is a cuck. And he gets cucked, ironically. That's why. Because they play the game. They enjoy themselves. They have fun with their audience that watches them. Oh, no. Only, only DSP does that. Everybody else is a shill, everybody else is corrupt, and everybody else doesn't care about their audience. Only Phil cares. Because he's real. Ironically, many people hate him for no reason, dude. They just hate his guts. See, I don't know why. Yeah, it is. You know what? Hold on a second. I'm trying to see if I put it at a different angle, if it'll look better. Maybe if you put yourself at a different angle, you're going to look better. Cool. I think it looks better like that. Anyway. um, Yeah. Basically, anyone out there who's playing it early... Are one of the people who applied to get it early. Okay. One of the people who did the review early, and now they get to play it a day early. Okay. Yeah. Our entire history. Cool. Of covering games for the internet, fourteen years. There is one game where I did this. It was Fallout Four. No, he did Dark Souls Three as well, or was it Dark Souls Two? I think it was Dark Souls Three when he played the Japanese version early, and he intentionally cheesed it so he could play play it early. He literally did. So he was actually worse than the shills because he found a workaround to play it early. All right, that was it. The one game ever. Outside of that, I, I just never cared. I don't apply to be early for this stuff. Because here's the thing, and this is my philosophy, and you can completely disagree, and that's totally cool. Because today seems to be the whole get that bag mentality. Yes. By any means necessary, make money, make a living, putting content on the internet. Don't care what you shill, don't care how you get it, as long as you make money. That seems to be... The mentality of the vast majority of content creators uh, out there. That's not what get that bag mentality means, you fucking idiot. And he wouldn't know because he doesn't have that bag. Get that bag means to grind and to hustle and to put your foot at the door and to ask for opportunities and to take them. That's what get that bag means, DSP. The opposite of DSP. The DSP mentality is fumble that bag. The fumble that bag mentality. That seems to be <clears throat> what a lot of people are okay with. I'm not okay with that personally. To me, I want to be someone who stands by, you know, what he believes in when it comes to content creation, when it comes to gaming in general. I personally don't believe that I am any better, any smarter, any more important than anyone else on the internet. Okay? I don't. I don't believe that whatsoever. And just so you know, I have no intentions of trying to get games early i don't play the game i know exactly how the game is played all right because i've been there i've done that i know how to register i know how to talk to these pr people i know how to get these games early i absolutely positively 100 percent could have gotten god of war ragnarok early if i wanted it um <clears throat> i wouldn't have been able to stream or record it for you guys instead it would have all had to be done offline well which is yeah productive because what's the point and <laughs> Well, there we go. I could have done it, but I didn't because it's not in my best interest, so I didn't do it. But I'm going to complain about everybody else doing it. This is the epitome of fucking DSP. This is distilled dark side fucking Phil. Yeah, I could have done it, you guys. I could have done it because I'm better than those guys. I could have done it, but it's not in my best interest, so I'm not going to do it. When I stream six days a week, when was I going to find of course. A God of War outside of my regularly scheduled streams? I don't know. Right? When you shit post on Twitter and you play WWE Champions, somewhere in between. So much compared to these other content creators that 
I wouldn't have even had time to play this game regardless if I got it early. So it's kind of counterproductive. What's the point of me trying to get shit early if I can't play it for you guys, right? But the thing is, I honestly, in, in inside, deep down, doing this for 14 years, I feel like I'm the same on the same level as all of you. <laughs> on level one. On level one. That's on the same level as all of you. How are you on the same level when you have to ask them for tips? And meanwhile, live in a fucking gated community and you spend a hundred fucking thousand dollars a year. Come on, how are you on the same level as, as those people? That some of them are fucking homeless and still find a way to send you money. You fucking loser. I'm on the same level as you. My TV broke. Please give me $400. By the way, it's going to be $800 now because I decided so. My dishwasher broke. My car broke. It's $1,000. Please give it to me. I'm on the same level as you are. Down here on level one, I guess we could say. Down here on level one. A man of the people. I don't feel like I'm up here at level 10, level 20. I'm not right. this guy. You're not. I mean, you, you even if you felt like it, you're not. I play at the same time as you. I want to experience it the same way you do. <clears throat> right. Right. Sour That's grapes. How I, I, I feel. That's Sour how I feel. grapes. I feel like those people, the big exactly. people. I, I remember that, that great I rant. Exceptions. Shut up, DSP. I remember that great rant when he was like, oh, you wonder if those like big people, are they even like happy? Yeah, they, they have all the money, but are they happy? I'm happy. You know, they're not happy. The fucking ultimate sour grapes. Everybody else life sucks. No matter how happier than me they look. Ultimate sour grapes, DSP. Okay, we can play it now. Wait, I got a big crew of people running the show, so it's it's kind of hard sometimes. Okay, producer. Burnell. Someone who gets a game early. There we go. Solely on the fact Thank that you. you have a unique perspective to bring. You're reviewing it for the graphics. You're reviewing it for accessibility. Those are exceptions to the rule. But the vast majority of people who are trying to get these games desperately early to put out an early review for clickbait to be able to play it. A day oh, clickbait. Stream, what clickbait? For the They're going to say it's a, a great game? That's the clickbait? God of War is a masterpiece. 10 out of 10. Is this clickbait? They're in it for the money. They're, They're in, in it, it for the bag. Get that membership. bag. And the thing is, they've created an elitist group that all cover each other and all right. each other's back. What? So when someone criticizes one of them for get, playing it early, everyone else comes up in arms. Ah, oh, fuck you, fuck you. No, fuck you. Because what? People have a right to have <laughs> their own feelings about things, and people have a right Dude. to say rightly that you're probably doing it for the money. Because if you didn't care about getting that day one early copy, then you would probably play on normal. He just said that his opinion is right, by the way. If you if you notice, he said, yeah, people have the right to an opinion and to say things rightly. So, yeah, so your opinion is correct? Only like everybody else. Thanks, DSP. Maybe put on a different shirt if you want people to take you fucking seriously. This shirt is also way too short because you can see where his, uh, uh, where his sleeves end. It looks very goofy. It's like two kilometers away from his elbows. I'm, I'm just it's almost like a vest. Not there. I don't care about doing it early. He's not there. Rather you from... can't be there. You can try and think that you can, but you're not. You're a bum. You're the bum of the internet. That's why we watch you and we laugh at you. That's just how it is. Cover games at my own pace. I'd rather do really in-depth streams and gameplay plays. In-depth streams. Did you see that Call of Duty shit? That was in-depth. Whoa, I didn't see this guy. How? What? Spends 20 bullets on a single guy who kills him in two shots. That's in-depth gameplay. Chill, interactive, fun. Every day. All the aspects of a game that I'm really enjoying. And uh, that way I can bring you honesty. It's not... Nothing on my stream is ever a paid shill advertisement. Accept everything about it, because you advertise yourself. You're shilling yourself. Your hats, your glasses, your vests, your eight ball, your Christmas event, your Halloween event, your fucking Thanksgiving event. All of that shit is paid shilling. All of that is paid shilling. Except you pay him directly. You don't pay some company that sponsors him. That's that's literally, literally, he's, his entire stream is him shilling himself. You guys know that. You guys know that. 100% of the gameplay, the commentary, the criticism that I bring to a playthrough is legit. 100%. Mostly because I don't do it for the money. I'm just not taking the bag. I, I'm, I'm not taking the bag. He rejects the bag. I woke up. I had five freaking emails about companies that want me to promote their game. Yo, what a flex. What a flex. Gathering. Wait, wasn't it fucking one, the trolls? One was one of these PR companies that says we represent a bunch of games. It was the fucking trolls, though. The trolls are why I, I don't get the opportunities other people do. Go and watch all the fucking rants. 
that are, I don't get the opportunities anybody does. The trolls fucked me out of all the opportunities. They screwed me up. I just rejected five opportunities. DSP. DSP. This is a massive contra uh, contradiction, dude. I was about to say contribution, but it wasn't. Do it. Wasn't a contribution. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to do my own my thing. Own. You guys like me doing this this way. You guys you love this. support the streams. That's why you support the content, and I really appreciate that. Okay? Amazing. So thank you. To those who do support my efforts to remain independent, to not have to shill games and products. Dude, you are dependent. You are the most dependent streamer out there. He goes like two days with low tips. He's going to make a dedicated video begging and talking about his bills next week and his stupid day off. He's the most dependent parasite to exist. The most dependent streamer on the internet is Dark Side Phil. Nobody as dependent as he is. To put himself in a position where he has to pay thousands of dollars of bills a month, like actual bills that I don't doubt because he put himself in this situation, and also spend thousands more a month on bullshit, and then just live day to day. How the fuck does this work? What are you if not dependent? To you. And please understand, that's why I'm one of the few content creators on the planet who that are not playing God of War today. Oh, because we're not I'm playing God of War. Or like all of you, I'll have access to it the same time you will. I'll play it at exactly the same time that you're going to play it. Um, take a sip. Tasty. It's that simple. Okay. It's very simple. So, thank you for that and understanding. I would much rather today play Sonic Frontiers. I know God of War is going to be good. I'm not stupid. I love God of War 2018. Okay. I know that this is the next... But wait, wait, wait. You know it's going to be good, right? And those people putting out, quote-unquote, the clickbait, what, what is their clickbait? That the game is good? That they have the same opinion that you do? Oh, so you agree with them. So your problem is that they just get to play it early, and you don't. Because you're legit. It's not something else. Is you're legit. I'm sure. Ragnarok is likely going to be a game of the year contender, right? I know it's going to be an insanely long playthrough from what people are saying about the length of the content. It's going to be probably a month or longer to beat it. And I'll be balancing it with a million other games, and that's fine. Um, I'm in a rush. I'd much rather. I'm actually more interested today in Sonic Frontiers because this is the big question mark. I'm more interested. He did a Twitch page chill <laughs> stream where he pretended to not be mad about being a scrub and losing. There was like when whenever he got a page chill type of stream, uh, I remember the Elo Hell and there was another game, Daymare 1998, was it called or something like that. I think he got paid by the developers, or they gave him, uh, they gave him a free key. He was fucking loving it. He was avoiding making any kind of criticisms about the game. And it was just like some really low-level games. Some like pretty shitty games. Pretty like low-level indie games. That he would usually shit all over and would call the graphics disgusting and the controls are stupid and the game is stupid and everything. He would make fun of it. It was amazing. Everyone has. It's great. Okay. But he's not a paid chill. And when he got the, the Hori... Uh, Joy-Cons, the the Demon X Machina edition, he didn't find one downside, I think. I think it was all just kissing its ass. And in the description he wrote, Yes, I did get those for free, but I'm gonna be objective about it. So... Uh, no, the YouTuber's life wasn't sponsored. There was no ad anywhere. He didn't talk about it at all. It was just a game that he decided to buy and play because PewDiePie was in the game. I think so. Thank you all. And it's funny because some people criticize me and say, well, Phil, when you say all the time that your money is tight and you're some weeks you're living paycheck to paycheck. So there we go. This is why this rant happened. So he could say this. This is why the whole rant happened. So he could turn it into people shit on me for begging. How can you do it? Because that's just me. To that's me, just me. I'm a beggar. It's easier for me to sleep at night knowing that I am true to myself and my own beliefs than, than taking the bag you know what i'm saying? wow because some people are just into taking the bag <laughs> wow i can't i can't do that i just i i, I can't do that i'm too real that kind of person where i'm too real i can't i would i would actually hate myself if i was just someone who was constantly <laughs> taking money here money here chill this chill that add here add there big paid promote uh, placement in my video i would hate myself if i did actual business that's why i need to beg you to consume my product and support it I can't do actual business. 
the way that actual people in the industry do the actual business. I need to beg you to consume my product and pay me for it. My product is free, by the way, but you need to pay anyways because I'm I'm honest. Video, that you know, and maybe you know what? Oops, maybe nice, nice. Was this an honest burp? Was this a true and honest burp? Because I started back in the day. Before Can you sleep at night if you don't burp? Probably not. He would just explode. Before any of that was possible, right? I started as a content creator in 2008. Okay. Right? Back then, there was no taking of the bag. There was no paid promotional opportunity. There was no bag. Just make videos, and you're lucky if you can monetize them. Because back then, you couldn't even monetize gameplay. So maybe it's just because <clears throat> I've been around for so long that that's my mentality. And since then, there's been entire generations of new content creators that they, they grew up in this this commercial atmosphere where everything is an ad and everything's for money. No, it's just gaming blew up as an industry and now makes insane amounts of revenue. Why am I making it? And if you're a smart businessman, you would want to cut of that. You would want to get into that. You would want to put your foot in the door, get some opportunities your way. Video unless I'm making a buck on it today, right? I. And this is what this is what this fucking bastard said. The dude that used to record everything and dump it on YouTube like it was a fucking dumpster, like it was a, a some weird like a junkyard. He used to put everything on YouTube and it made him money. Everything. This motherfucker would eat a burger. He would record himself and upload it and make money off of it. And now he's criticizing people doing the same thing but much better, with much higher quality and much more interesting, entertaining, engaging stuff. Come on, DSP. Get fucking real. That's just not my mentality. You never yeah, my right. My mentality is I'm putting out content for you. That's how, how much he, he can live with himself and how happy he is that he has to shit post at 2 in the morning on Twitter and shit on reviewers. That's how happy he is. That's how good he can sleep at night. You enjoy the content. If you're enjoying the content, then you'll support it. It's free content. It's not, oh, I'm only making this video because there's a paid advertisement placement in there that I make money on. Or, oh, you know, I'm only streaming today because I can play God of War early and I get advanced views and I get inflated views and, I, you know, I can make money on it. That's not why I stream, all right? I've also told you guys this, and this is, quite frankly, the truth. If I ever, all right, um, if you would, if I ever were to, like, never need to stream again, like if I were to win the friggin' lotto or something like that, I would still stream. It just would be way decreased from what I do today, for sure. All right, but this is what he told the quartering as well. I would still stream, man. I would get a job and like I would balance the two. I would like stream in the evenings after work. That's some bullshit. If he hit the lottery, he's fucking gone. I definitely he is gone. You're never gonna see his fat ass ever again would still stream. Why? Because I love this. I, I love mean, this. It's been my lifelong hobby. I love interacting. I with love gaming. I love what you I see do. how much he loved Call of Duty? It was amazing. He loved it so hard. This is my passion as well as my job. You understand that? That's why I do it. There's been many times over the years where people were like, you should just quit. It's not worth it. The harassment you get, the messed up stuff that's happened to you and your family, you should just quit. And I'm like, you know, you're probably right. You can't quit though. That's the thing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? But I'm kind of a stubborn jerk. Oh, he's stubborn. And I, when people tell me I can't do something or I'm no good at something, I tend to try to prove them wrong. And that's always... And you end up proving them right because you're no good at everything. Kind of been... Big ups, Phil. Uh, <clears throat> that's always kind of been this thing with me. Um, so, to me, I... Uh, that's just me. Right, that's so just you. Just did a super chat. If you could read off five emails right now without having to dig around for them, I'll tip $100. Well, I deleted them all, but I, they would be in my deleted box. And by the way, I do not believe he's going to tip me $100. Let me see just quickly if I can find them. Right. What I have to do is I have to load. Right. Of course he gets them. He gets those, like, some indie games that he doesn't want to play. Oh, my God. I got so many. I got so many of them, dude. I got so many. Because the dude was baiting $100. Imagine if he sends it, dude. It, it was like with the uh, with the push-ups. Do 25 push-ups, DSP. Come on. Actually, he gets off camera, pretends to do push-ups, comes back, not even winded. This dude gets winded when he gets off his chair. Email from someone who says they're a professional video editor and they want to edit my videos and make shorts. You should probably take that. So that's not probably should. something different. 
Um, and he deleted that email. Is this in the deleted they're box? All, they're all my deleted. Yeah, they're all the deleted. Here's one. This is this was a follow up. Oh no, this is the same guy. He emailed me twice about YouTube Shorts. Here, my name is. I'm not gonna give the guy's name. My name is Bleu. I'm Bleu. Going to a relationship. He's French. For an agency at, and I'm not gonna give you the name of the company. We've been allocated a further budget for quarter four. We've asked to gauge your interest in working with the following six brands for 60-second pre-roll and mid-roll integrations, and it gives three indie games. Okay. If this is something you'd be interested in. Please reply to this email with a copy of your demographics, blah, 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 blah. So there's one. <clears throat> this is going to be hard to find because, like I said, they're all my deleted. Right. He deletes everything. Actually, there should have been way more than that. Where did this one go? Where did this one go? We're hunting emails. We're sniping emails. And he's as good at sniping as he is in Call of Duty, so good luck. That's just that's just one I just pulled. Like I said, there's a bunch that I get every day. Like every single day I get at least three or four of these now. It's usually indie games that you get that for. If you want the bigger games, those you have to you have to go out of your way and register for yourself. Those you're not gonna actively get offers. In your inbox. Oh, here you go. Partnership offer for DSP Gaming. My name is Alex. I'm a manager at... Not going to say the name of it. We're an official YouTube partner. We work with large creators all over the world to help develop your channel. We want to make money off of it. Uh, you're, you have potential for growth and earnings. We would like to advertise our products on your channel. Please contact me and let's have a discussion. There's one right there. Okay? <laughs> there you go. That's two. I was wondering where they all were because I knew there was more than just one or two here. He's legitimately doing this in the hopes that this dude is going to send him a hundred bucks. He's legitimately doing this right now. He's actually doing this. All right. That's all. I'm, I'm not going to keep looking because I know. You're not going to keep I'm looking. Keep digging through. But the guy wasn't even going to send me the buddy anyways. Fucking idiot. Day. He's just lying. In reality, I got, uh, like I said, I've been getting offers about people who want to, uh, edit my stuff too which is weird because big ups carl taylor for the sub is so easy i don't know why anyone would offer to make shorts that's really weird to it's me so easy that's why all your shorts are trash because it's easy right it's easy <laughs> Who would... his shorts are zoomed in you can't even see half of the screen not even half you get a zoom in of the screen want to make shorts it's so easy like, dude why can't i do that myself that's like 10 you can't do it and we're gonna talk about this let why Why do we get to talk about this at, 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 again? We talked about this yesterday. You, this is the podcast. We just repeat the topics every day. Mentality when it comes to making... A new mentality. When it comes to making YouTube shorts every day. And I told you guys that every day I'm going to try to make a short if I can based off the gameplay I do. And making those two shorts... Or actually, I made three shorts last night. Oh, wow. Now we're spamming three shorts. It was quick. And every day, we're going to make... We're going to keep making shorts every day because at some point, Susan's going to monetize them. And he wants to put ads on all of them. Like, retroactively, he probably wants to go back and put a bunch of ads on them. Sure. Sounds and like that to me. me. Uh, then it was to do, like, the short schedule. <laughs> Seriously. So... So easy to do, dude. That's why they're all I bad. I would pay someone to do that unless you're just someone who's so effing busy. I don't know. Uh, because they want professional quality and not trash like your channel. But yes. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't. That's why people have editors. Find any more. I found two. There you go. I found two. I, I know I had more than that, but I found two. There you go. Call me a liar now. Say that I lied about it, right? Okay, good for you. All right. <clears throat> anyway, Call him an idiot. I get stuff like that every day. Like, I don't, it, very rarely would a day go by when I don't get something like that. Hey, I work for an agency. I represent a bunch of games. Would you like to, sh to, to advertise these games? You could either do pre roll post-roll, or a paid pro advertisement. Because there's been actually companies that are not just games, but also, like, game peripherals and things like that. And they're like, we want to advertise. What was, one of them was, like, gum. Gum? Like, we advertise energy gum. Energy like, gum. Gamer he was going <laughs> to imagine he gets like five gum and tweaks out on on screen. You guys, this has actual cocaine in it. It has methamphetamines in it. And if he just tweaks out all over the place, it would be amazing. I want to see that. DSP sponsored by gum. This is how it feels to chew five gum. And then it's just a clown segment. Um, and stuff like that. You know, I get those, again, regularly. And I don't take them because I don't want to be that to you guys. I want to be the guy who's here to relax and chill with you guys 
Um, I want to relax and chill. Also, I want $150 per stream. I want both of those. Mango says, I didn't call you a liar. I gave you more money. I don't know what you're talking about. What you Mango, I didn't say that you did that. What are you talking about? But people are so sensitive. Mango, stop being sensitive. Stop <laughs> that right now. I didn't insult you. <laughs> Come on. This dude bans people in his chat for calling him out for being for raging at Call of Duty when he rages at Call of Duty. And he is calling other people sensitive. Everybody else is sensitive but him. And he's like a, a walking neuron. Did not insult you. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um anyway, so let's get back on topic here. Um I'm not playing God of War Ragnarok today. I'm playing it tomorrow, starting to tomorrow all day long. Everybody right. else is sensitive. So I'll be here tomorrow playing it. If you want to see my God of War Ragnarok playthrough, it begins tomorrow. It's going to be ongoing for like a month to a month and a half. I'm going to be balancing that with all the other new releases. You're going to get a ridiculous amount of God of War Ragnarok coverage here on DSP Gaming. Think of it like this. I'm going to cover it the same way I covered Elden Ring. I'm going to so bad as much time as it needs. I'm going to do all the side <laughs> content that I find. In bad and cheesy. That's how he's going to cover it. And the first episode is going to be all the DSP gimmicks. He's going to sing. He's going to wear a goofy hat. He's going to scream. He's going to overreact. And then he's going to make a short out of it. Find meaningful. I'm going to give it a fair shake. Okay? Fair enough? All right. Um, but today it's all about Sonic. The big question mark, is Sonic Frontiers good? We already talked about the reviews yesterday and how everyone is not in agreement about the game, if it's good or not. So we're going to find out today firsthand. Now, <clears throat> in celebration of the release of a new 3D Sonic game, number one, I'm wearing my Sonic the Hedgehog, well, one of my two Sonic the Hedgehog shirts. Yeah, you should have probably picked the other one because this one is the worst. This is one of the worst shirts he got because it's like, it's terrible. I already Man. talked about it. It's terrible and it's too small. In a special move. You ready Special for move. You get to pay him to wear a incredible... Oh, wow. The jammies are out again. Nice jammies, Phil. He he wants to be that guy. He wants to be the business guy. But he wears pajamas to stream. Very nice. He just rolls out of bed and sits there. And uh, puts some uh, water on his hair. So it can look extra greasy. Very nice. It's just amazing. Just amazing content. Come on, where are you, gouty man? You can't even find the hat. You didn't have it close? I'm just messing with you guys. I was ready to sit down like a minute ago. But... Oh, you got the new animation. Yeah, but you just meandered. The new animation. Whoa, it's That's so cool. Play it on stream. Wow. That's for a ten. Was that a ten dollar? Yes, it was a ten dollar. Need to go with. Oh, you got the new animation. So this is it. It's just like a... we want another song. Oh. Boom cover. Sonic Boom bad. cover? So you got to see that. I don't get this one. That. I don't know what the Sonic Boom cover is. Dollar tip, it'll play that but big ups for a super chat. <clears throat> there wasn't a special animation anyway, on my stream because it's trash. Special move. Yes. Today and today only. <laughs> we hit. Is he going to put it on? He's not going to put it on. Goal of $100 the tips raised. It will be the return of the Sonic hat. Yeah, this rat bastard. Yeah. He's not going to put it on. Is He's it just going to show it like this. He's not even going to do you the due diligence to put it on so you can see how it's going to look. You need to pay him for that. This is the same thing he did when he got the new gunner glasses. He didn't put them on. He put them right in front of his face and he showed them off in excruciating detail, but he did not put them on. Putting them on is literally paywalled. It's literally paywalled. The storied hat. I wore this hat at first when I got Sonic Generations a million years ago. And of ago. course he's going to put it on. Of course he's going to put it on. Oh, it came as a pre-order bonus. Of course, somebody's going to send that hundred. When you bought Sonic Generations. The whale bail. Over a decade ago. All right. Then, as a special bonus, I wore this during my Sonic 2006 playthrough in 2016, was it? I think it was 2016, maybe 2017, but I think it was 2016. When I played Sonic 2006. So this only comes by every once in a while for a special occasion. Why though? And I decided... Why did you decide to stop wearing it? What's the backstory about that? Because people said he looked autistic. That's his quote. People are saying that I look autistic in this hat. He got very offended by it. For today, for the launch of Sonic Frontiers, yes, this will be eligible for the hat goal. And I will be uncomfortable wearing it because this hat is very warm. It's like wearing a pillow on your head because it really is. Oh, no. It's, it's going to be torture. So when you wear it, you start sweating. Torture. <laughs> Maybe I'm take sure. off your jammies to release some steam. 
take off the jammies. Just walk around in like whatever you have underneath. No, please don't do that. Dollar gold today. We will go fast. The blue blur will return. I will wear the Sonic hat. He's gonna go fast. Okay. He's gonna go power walking. What I do for you guys. I make myself suffer. So I'll actually put the Sonic hat down here. <laughs> That's what I do for you guys. I make myself suffer. <clears throat> Putting on a Sonic hat is suffering. And ready. Uh. We hit. This is that Bad fumble hole. the bag mentality. For today. Okay. Not get that bag. <clears throat> All right. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So Sonic Frontiers is the first stream. I'm hoping for the best. Let's hope that it's good. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Later tonight, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, Disney Dreamlight Valley Chalk game. Really hide into the new content. The new paired with the late night stream of my night quest. They had to me. Okay. Are we talking about God of War again? Oh, yeah. Other people being ahead of him now. So, yeah. I'm going to be playing it like five or more hours that first day tomorrow. Non-stop. I'm going to be playing it like one stream and then alternate and then another stream. And then I totally understand if you can't be here tomorrow for various reasons. You don't want to spoil what they like to do. <clears throat> is play into the game themselves. Because they've already played. Good stuff coming up this week. All right, Fantastic guys? stuff. <clears throat> Mind-blowing stuff. Let's do a little bit of odds and ends coverage around here. What? All right. And oh, we're going to beg. That's what the uh, housekeeping stuff. And, uh, one thing. We're going to point the members. We're going to talk about the members' goals, which is watching ads. So we're going to repeat the entire segment, which I'm probably going to skip. Uh, and I don't know. I, I don't know what else. Update. Because you guys have been asking me for several days. Interview? Update on the interview. Yep. All right. I am still in contact with a few people who I'm interested in doing my interview with. Yeah, it's a hostage situation at this point. They're still very interested as well, but we've all been talking about it and realized we're all kind of busy, including me, obviously, but we're all kind of busy right now um, talking specifics of how we want to do it. And like I said, there's three people in particular who I have in mind, and they all have a completely different idea of how they want to do an interview with me. Uh, likely, if we're going to do anything, it's going to be in December at this point. Just to let you know, we've talked it out, and it's kind of like it's going to probably be in December. Um, when things start to slow down a little sure. bit in games, it makes yeah. sense then. But uh, <laughs> He's going to talk about it every single day until then. It's going to be a massive saga. <clears throat> I am still in talks, and I'm massive. Actually, you know, thinking about maybe having a conversation with one or two of them outside of just, like, you know, email or DMs, but maybe having a call and, you know, what, talk, pillow talk? about the, the various ideas and things that we have how to go about it. Um, you know, interestingly enough... They're going to make out. Yes, some of these people are well-known for interviewing people, and some of them are not. Some of them are, they might make different kinds of content, but they're actually going out of their way because they want to interview me particularly because of my unique situation on the internet. So, As in being a lol cow. That's his unique situation on the internet. That's how he's going to put it. Of course, that's how he's going to put it. My unique situation. We'll see. Okay. Being a joke. Oh, that's his unique situation. Uh, I fully believe that that... Remember I told you that there was a... And by the way, I'm glad I didn't mention it. Remember I told you that there was a major gaming journalism outlet that there was someone who was claiming to represent them and wanted to possibly have me on their show. Yeah, the Kiwi Farm uh, guys. In December to talk about... They wanted like, to talk about Kiwi Farms. The history of Kiwi Farms and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So, he wasn't going to go anyways because he wants it to be all about him. He wants them to jerk him off. It, that wasn't going to be about him. He would just be a footnote. I would be interested. Let's talk a little further. They came back to me and said, oh, okay, but what we'd like to do is we'd like to send you an NDA, all right, that you sign first. And, and then we'll, we'll go from there. And I was like, well, I'm not going to sign anything until we talk about the ins and outs. I don't even know about this show. How does the show broadcast? Where does it broadcast? Is it a live show? Is it a pre-recorded show that gets uploaded to the internet? How would I be involved in the show? Do I have to call in via, like, you know, one of these online services? <laughs> or, you know, Massive the paranoia. Of the show, before I would sign anything, they've ghosted me now. Oh, no. I was like, because I said I want more details before I'll sign anything. <laughs> Immediately cut off contact for like a week to a week and a half. Oh, this is awesome. I love when people ghost him. He gets so fucking offended. He gets so offended. I love this. So it's like, I get the feeling this was not, this is someone who was probably lying about who they were and misrepresenting who they were and probably weren't actually representing any games journalism group at all. They were full of shit. Oh, so more paranoia. To sign something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that didn't make sense. To try to say, ha, we got a gotcha moment or something. Would you read the thing that you would sign? Or it's like a credit card. You take it out. You just you just sign at the bottom. They send you the credit card. That is that how you want it to be done? So. You wouldn't even read it, you guys. It would be a gotcha moment. I would sign something and not even read what it was. Whatever. <laughs> right. In, in reality, I was that wasn't what I was looking for anyway. 
I wasn't looking to be on someone else. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You just said you were interested, you fucking buffoon. You just said you were interested in doing it. And now it's like, I wasn't even looking for any of this. I didn't even want this. Oh, a games media show to talk about Kiwi Farms. I wanted to be interviewed about my own situation. What a fucking jackass. Here about stuff regarding me, you know. Can't even have one single story that doesn't have any contradictions in it. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was about, but uh, I haven't heard from them in a long time. So it's probably bullshit. It was probably was. It was probably, you know, when I first announced it, what, over two weeks ago? You probably had a bunch of people who were rushing to try to fuck with me, right? <clears throat> and uh, right. probably one of them. But I still right. If they wanted to fuck with you, they would be way more determined. And their scam would be much better than this. I have, you know, several legit people interested. And once I have information updates, I'll let you know right now. It's more, it's actually more on me than anything else. Because some people were like, I'll just interview you right now. And I was like, I, I just can't do it right now. It's can't crazy. do it. You need to be mentally prepared and get all his stories straight and make all the setups for his stories. Such as why he doesn't want to provide any proof and other stuff. You know, I want to wait till things calm down a little bit. Maybe I can make some time. Like why he's begging. Because he needs to like rehearse this on stream. Out of my like he did today. He'll say in like early December. It makes more sense, so. There you go. Um, there you go. No, Plum Girl, basically, what we're, I'm going to do, whoever I eventually interview with, we're going to end up having a conversation before the interview anyway. And essentially, what I'm sure we'll do is talk about what's the, the topics, and I'm sure it's going to be all about the drama shit surrounding me on the internet, which is kind of what I want it to be about. Yes, so that's I what you said. Address and counter all the bullshit. Oh, he's going to counter it. Imagine countering something without any evidence. That would be great. Uh, believe me, guys, it's all bullshit. You know, um... But would there be a situation where they give me with a gotcha moment? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, how do you prevent that? You can't. The thing is, I am 100% confident in doing an interview. And the reason I am is because I know that all the bullshit people say about me is false. Okay. I have zero fear that there's going to be. And zero evidence, though. So fear doesn't matter. Kind of a giant revealing gotcha moment because there can't be. Because it's not true. You see? If this were all true shit then I'd be actually, oh my God, you know, maybe they're going to hit me with something. What? I, 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 I'm, I know it's all bullshit. Is this why you're choosing specific people you want to do the interview with? Is this why you want to do it? Is this why we take so long to pick the proper person? Right? Because this is how uh, unafraid he is. Give me a fucking break. If, if he was completely unafraid, he would do a fucking uh, interview with a troll. Somebody who knows something about him, and not some random dude that never heard about him before. Or the quartering. You know, so because of that, I'm not afraid. I'll have I'm not afraid. Honest, He's like Eminem. Um, about it, I'm just not worried. I have no, literally no fear. The thing He's is, a scam in him. Is there's going to be people who won't believe what I say anyway, but that's not who I'm really doing this for, you know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. Anyway, continuing on, the only final topic I want to talk about before we get to the news segment is the memberships. Yep, guys, memberships. We have a membership goal for the month, and if we hit that membership goal, I'm doing a holiday marathon event right before Christmas. I'm not exactly sure what the date would be yet, but that holiday event would be very exciting because I'll be dressed up in holiday-themed attire like Christmas sweaters and shirts and hats. I'll be drinking liquor during the event. It's the one stream a year I actually imbibe myself on alcoholic beverages. I'll be playing a variety of games you guys will nominate and vote on, all right? And we do special holiday things, like there'll probably be a holiday feasting with the king and a holiday DSP tries it as well. I love doing this event, but we have not had any positive movement in members in a while. Oh, no positive we movement. Had, last month, we had an insane amount of gifted memberships, which was outstanding, amazing. We smashed the goals. We... It was just one guy, by the way. The insane amount was just one guy. And one other guy, I think Emil gifted like 10. Because, uh, yeah. Ash the record. Because it's ammo. But since then, it's just been decline, decline, decline. All right? We need to start making movement. Because here's the thing. Start making moves, you guys. Path. We need to start making movement. We. Some of these membership bombs from last month are going to expire. And we're eventually going to just push ourselves out of any kind of contention of actually hitting the membership goal. So if you're not a member yet, consider becoming one. If you were thinking of helping out the channel or even your fellow viewer, this is the season of giving indeed, right? Oh, right. You gift a membership. It's the season of giving. To someone here. <laughs> why, don't, why doesn't DSP gift memberships so people can have memberships in his chat? Mark Goldbridge gives out memberships. And I'm absolutely sure they're going to be appreciative of it. But he's Goldbridge and DSP is Begbridge. People love having memberships. Snortbridge. So please consider it. Thank you in advance. Um, Seriously, thank you in advance to anyone who... 
supports the channel in any way, but memberships in particular, you know, if we can hit that goal sooner rather than later, that would be great. All right. That would be great, you guys. Lastly, the method by which you guys can nominate advertisements. We're skipping this because he's going to go through the whole shebang. Be able to give you my has announced they're working on game news. Game news. Game news time. It's Twitter news. First of all, it's the Twitter news segment. Netflix has announced they're working on a Gears of War movie, which will then be followed by an adult animated series. They are working with the game developer, The Coalition, which makes the games right now. And there has been a strong push by the original creator of Gears of War, Cliff Blazinski, to have the actor Dave Bautista play the title role of Marcus Phoenix, Mr. Bautista, <laughs> over the years. Bautista, bro, Bautista. I love him. I love him in his acting roles. He's so good, man. I love him. He's not a good actor, but he's really likable on screen. Has expressed a distinct desire to play Marcus because he knows the video games and loves them. Big ups. Personally, I think that would be insanely cool. The Beast. He's a great actor. He's not a great actor. He's not a great actor, DSP. Come on. Perfectly. He's not a great actor. And I think that that would be seriously one of the best video game movies of all time if it happens. So I am 100% in agreement. I think this would be an amazing piece of media. Uh, I think that the, the story of Gears of War is good. That could be made into a pretty dramatic movie with a lot of action and gore as well. It's what people want, right? Like, Gears of War is like a summer popcorn movie. Action, gore, drama, right? That's what you want in a, in a great action movie, and they want to make it. Then, then absolutely, let's do it, right? I say it differently. It's Bautista. His name is Bautista. You didn't know that? He, he Bautista. Bautista when he was in WWE. Yes. He his name. His name was Bautista. That Dave Bautista. Know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm 100 percent in line for this. I would love to see it happen. If they're gonna make a Netflix a Netflix movie of Gears of War, I think they already got half the work done for them. All right. We'll see what happens. You know, will they heed the the pleas of Cliffy B? Uh, even though he's not involved in game development anymore. And uh, will they do it or will they say, oh, uh, remember Lawbreakers? I bought this game day one. I literally did. And it was kind of fun. Then people just gave up because it was, I guess, not fun for them. We'll just cast, uh, you know, Paul Rubens. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Um, they should cast Dave Burnell. <laughs> AEW, also known as All Elite Wrestling. One of the major competitors to WWE in the realm of pro wrestling is coming out with a video game next year called Fight Forever. This game has been in development for several years, and I don't know if it's been through development hell, but it's just weird because every time we hear updates on it, it's like positives and negatives. Like they just, it was at Tokyo Game Show, and they were showing content of it. And I was like, oh, like, the graphics don't look that good. Kind of looks like an outdated game. The animations don't look that good. They're kind of like like wonky and choppy, and they don't like they're not smooth. But other people were like, "Oh, it's like so good!" I was like, "What are you watching?" I guess what it is, people are saying that the game was designed to play like that WWE No Mercy game from like the 1990s on the N64. I oh, that would be I nice. Never played it, you know? Was I a wrestling fan in the 90s? No Mercy was lit. Not as much as yeah, that was awesome. My high school friends were into that shit and apparently did play stuff like that. I did not. I was into fighting games. That is a fighting game because you get to fight in it. So I guess there's Bleh. a generation of people who grew up like playing the No Mercy game and, and its spinoffs and loved that formula, and uh, I never played it. So I don't understand when they say, oh, it's going to play like that. Like, I don't even know what that means because I never played the game, you know. Um, but anyway, the, the reason I'm bringing this up today is now officially been announced. <clears throat> AEW Fight Forever will be an Xbox Game Pass ga day release game. So you will what? not have to buy it. <laughs> you completely fumbled this one. It's a Xbox Game Pass day release. <laughs> it's going to come out during the day, you guys. <laughs> you can't play it at night. <clears throat> if you're on Game Pass, you'll just get it for free. So now it's a no-brainer. When the game comes out, yes, I will check it out. It's on Game Pass. I don't have to invest any additional money. Of course I'm going to check it out. I'd be an idiot to not check it out. If the game ends up sucking, no risk. Right? So absolutely, yes, I will be checking it out when it comes out. The thing is, it doesn't have a release date yet. But uh, obviously, if they're already making arrangements to have it be on Game Pass, then obviously, 
it's gonna ha you know what I mean it's going to to happen it's going to be a part of it you know so all right cool the final story I have today this one hit in the middle of the freaking night like it was like midnight and I just happened to be scrolling through Twitter also the the article says it may be on Xbox game pass on day one it's claimed it's not yet clear when Yuke's wrestling game will be released. We're so right. I guess we don't know. And according to a number of its sources, I start reading and the official Sonic the Hedgehog account posts up something that my jaw dropped when I read it. I was like, what? So I'm not even kidding. This is the official post from the Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter account around midnight of last night. Hey everyone, quick notes ahead of the Frontiers launch today. If you purchase the digital deluxe version, be sure to install DLC before you start a new game. All DLC content for the game will not be valid if you install it after you play the tutorial of the game. Ensure you have the most recent patch before installing the DLC or the DLC also will not work. Wait, what? <clears throat> so let me get this straight. Let's say you pre-ordered Sonic Frontiers. Okay? And then you go to install it. Great, I install the game. All right? Or what if you bought the game physically? And so you install the base game to your console. All right? But you don't have the forethought to say, I want to download the DLCs as well that I'm owed because I pre-ordered it or because I bought the digital deluxe or whatever it is. Okay? <clears throat> I'll be honest with you guys. This has happened to me before. Okay. I game and I order it uh, and I just install the game and start playing it and then people later on are like well did you get your dlcs i'm like what are you even talking about and they're like yeah because you pre-ordered the game or because you, you got this version of the game you're entitled to a whole bunch of extra content did you get it i'm like i guess not i didn't know about it you know most of these games when you download the base game don't prompt you for that stuff you have to kind of go out of your way to kind of find it and it's usually listed as a separate listing on a marketplace or whatever so it's regular i would think it's regular practice that when you're getting a new game, a lot of people forget to install DLC right away. And then after the fact, they go, oh, shit, I was supposed to do that. And then they go install it. Well, this is the first time I've ever heard that if you play the game past the tutorial, all of your DLCs are invalid forever. Is it forever, though? I need to look up that fucking article. I, I some For some reason, you guys, I don't trust DSP on this. So I'm going to look it up while he's rambling. What? How does it... Where do you begin to make sense of that? Right? So, if I didn't know I was even owed a DLC, or I was under the impression I had downloaded all the DLCs, and maybe I was... Accidentally didn't, you made a, a silly human error because you weren't informed, you now are screwed out of content forever. So, I did my best to signal boost it. I did tweet and retweet it and everything. I don't think it got that much clout because, as you know... Usually shit from my Twitter doesn't really go that far anymore. Um, but at least if I helped a single person, I hoped I helped a single person. Seriously, because I, that would piss me off. If I pre-ordered a game where I got a digital deluxe version of a game and I just accidentally didn't get all the content and now you're stuck without it forever. Like, huh? Yeah, I would I would at least hope what they're going to do. <clears throat> um, I would really hope that they're going to patch it and fix that. That sounds like a really dumb thing. Or, if this is the case, and no one can access it, then later on, just give it to everyone for free. Maybe wait a month, but after a month has passed, just give everyone that content for free. That way, it's not people who get paid for it legitimately getting screwed out of it. You know what I mean? Like, that just doesn't make any sense to me at all, um, that they would do that. And I would hope that they're going to do the right thing, because that's not right to screw people out of stuff that they, they're owed, you know? Just because you didn't install it in the right order. Like, what are you talking about? All right. Anyway, that's really all I got today, guys. Let's get to shout outs, shall we? So on the YouTube side of things today... I don't know if he mentioned this. This only applies to the digital deluxe DLC items. Future items, including the SA2 shoes and Monster Hunter DLC, can be installed at any time. I don't think... I don't think what he said is correct, even though, it, according to the tweet, there is not... There's not really much clarification, but he's kind of making it up to be something weird. As in, I don't think... This will not be valid ever again. As in, you can probably reinstall the game and install the DLCs and start a new game. And then you will have the DLCs. But the way he says it, it's like, once you start the tutorial, you will never be able to play the DLC ever again. So you're missing out on it. 
Okay. Yeah, right? You have to start the game over again, right? Can somebody confirm that? Because he made it out to be that once you start the game, you will never be able to play the DLCs ever again, which I don't know what the logic behind this can ever be. We started off with Rocket Man 262. I don't know how he even extrapolated this logic. Who did a super chat and says, DSP, I broke up with my girlfriend. Do you think it's for men? What? Rocket Just Man say yes. $2 super chat. Thank you for that. He says, I broke just broke up with my girlfriend. Do you think it's for men? It is for men. It is for men. Just say yes. Carry on. Magic 8-Ball. Is there any way to make sense of that? Oh, no. just You should have just asked the question, dude. Come on. Is it anywhere to make sense of that? <laughs> uh. Oh, he was asking him if it's time for men? Maybe. I don't know. Can give it a shot. See how you feel. Oh, now we're getting this fucking trash segment. What is this trash fucking segment? What are we doing? Is he gonna put on the glasses just to read this? What a fucking dumbass segment. And he's doing this weird ass face the whole time. Took him five minutes to turn on the just clown mode. My girlfriend, do you think it's four men? I am not. Segment. You should make a short out of this. This would make an amazing short because you're really funny. Your comedic time timing is fantastic. I tried really hard. I don't know what that means. Anyway, let's continue. Thank you for the super chat, Rocket Man. Uh, Mango Jewel Pods did the super chat. So if you read five emails right now without having to dig around for them, I'll tip $100. He's not going to tip $100. Two, uh, not five. Uh, I know there's more than that, but those are the two that I found immediately. So instead of tipping me a hundred dollars, he put on the glasses for free though, and he asked the eight ball for free. Dollars. He then. So that is some progress, I guess. Up with a two dollars super chat, he says, "Have this for the attempt." I guess I'm hyped for Sonic. Thanks a lot, Mango Jewel Pods. Appreciate that. And then the crunchiest onion did a ten euro. Is that a euro or is that a pound? That's a ten pound super chat, I believe. What? You can't tell the difference. He says, uh. Whatever happened to those sponsored indie games on Twitch? I remember you being on the front page of Twitch at one point and on screen at TwitchCon. Did Twitch stop sending you them? Well, it's very short-lived. Allow me to explain what happened, okay? Allow me to the explain. Very first when he says, allow me to explain, you know you can skip the whole segment. But I'm going to give it a shot. All right. Allow me to explain. And by the way, this is years and years ago. Was that 2017, I want to say it was? I think it was 2017. It could be 2018, but it was so long ago. I can't even remember the year. I mean, it was many years ago. They had just started doing these kind of promotions on Twitch. All right. For whatever reason, I don't know why, they chose me and offered me a contract to advertise a game called Choice Chamber. Probably because he had a million gifted subs. And the way it Probably. Worked. And they thought it was actual growth, and they were like, hey, let's give this guy a shot. Is this this was a game where you had a, a plug-in on your, on your stream on Twitch, an extension, and people who were watching your stream had the ability to click things on the screen if they were watching it on a PC, and it would actually interact with the stream itself. Like, the game would edit things in the game based on what people chose live on their screens. Now, at the time, this was revolutionary. I mean, this is four or five years ago. People were like, holy crap, interaction by clicking actually on a stream that's a way you can help control a stream. Like, that's amazing. That's groundbreaking. And everyone thought this could be the future for live streaming, that you could have entire games just based off of this style of interaction. Can you imagine if there were games designed around just having a stream audience interact with the person playing the game and how cool that would be? This still exists. Uh, King Jad does the, the whip Quiplash uh, streams. I participated in them too. I'm pretty bad, but it's fun. Right, so, so those things exist. He just doesn't want to do them because he doesn't want to engage with anybody except reading tips. Time we saw epic potential for this. Okay, so yeah, I streamed the game for what was like an hour and a half, two hours, and people were constantly trying to troll me, pick the weakest, uh, weakest items and things, and and put an insane amount of enemies, and basically it just showed that 
this kind of gameplay is a double-edged sword. Because in some cases, people could help you out, and then you can make massive progress, and the game may be too easy. At the same time, if people decide to troll you, all of a sudden the game becomes almost insurmountable to the point where it's unbeatable. Oh, he did play Quiplash. Uh, you can go check it out. There was these uh, ancient videos of him playing Quiplash, and everybody was writing in Panda Lee questions, because it was funny at the time. And it still would probably be funny. But he was never going to play those ever again. Right? So it was actually a very interesting experiment, and I think that the game developers likely learned something watching me play their game like that, okay? Now, that was before the era of all the partnered offers for other games, and we'll talk about that in a moment. So I got paid a good amount of money for that event. It was only two hours of streaming or so. Apparently at TwitchCon, they did have a live stream. They showed that live at TwitchCon. It was a way to show, hey, look, here's the future of streaming or whatever. <laughs> Here's the future of streaming, Dark Side Phil. Oh, that aged like a glass of milk. Now, here's the future of streaming. Today in 2022, how many people hear about interactive games that use extensions and it's a major part of live streaming? Right? You can do it if you want to, though. You just don't want to. So you make it seem like nobody is doing it and nobody cares. So much like all these other things that are these big lofty ideas like waggling motion controls, fucking big gaudy VR headsets, and a million other things. This was something that would- You bought all of them, by the way. You participated in all of those scams that you want to call scams, right? You bought all of them. You own all of them. It was an idea that originally had potential and really didn't go anywhere. There are some social kind of interactive games out there that still use this kind of thing, but it's not extremely prominent. Um, <clears throat> at all, actually. You don't really often hear about these games doing that kind of extension plugin anymore. Well, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that for games like Call of Duty and, and maybe ongoing playthroughs, you could have like, like a, a lot of stats. Like, for example, what's my on ongoing kill-death ratio? What's my stats? On, uh, you know, how am I doing unlocking a certain gun or whatever? And you would think that would track in Call of Duty. Apparently, even that, if, like one year it was prominent and then it went away. So for whatever reason, the extensions on Twitch never really took off. They were a good idea, and they just never really exploded in popularity. And now I don't really hear about it ever again, right? Never. I never hear about anyone talking about extensions at all. It's like an afterthought, right? <clears throat> now, I'm not saying again that it's not existent. I'm just saying it never got prominent. I think their whole goal was this would be prominent. Now, after that, was I ever offered a giant loop giant? contract ever again? No. No. What ended up happening was yeah, you trash. they streamlined their offers <laughs> for these kind of things. They created a whole segment of Twitch that was for paid promotional advertisements. And every partnered streamer had it. And what would happen is you'd go into this queue and you'd see a series of games for which you were offered promotional opportunities based on the size and the reach of your channel. So you'd be able to pick one and say, okay, stream this game for one hour. You know, use these talking points. Oh, that's the bounty board. Yeah, and I think he got banned from it. He got a shadow banned, as he's about to say, probably. Most probably going to say it. During that hour and get paid a certain amount of money. Now, in some cases, there were games that I had never played. In other cases, there were games I was already playing. Well, First, I was going to do World of Tanks, which is a game that I had heard of. Oh, my I God. Before and didn't know much about. You would be terrible at World of Tanks. I sign up for the opportunity. I tell everyone, tomorrow I'm streaming World of Tanks. All of a sudden, it disappears. And I get an email from a Twitch techie. It wasn't even like my partner manager, some technical guy at Twitch contacts me and says, oh, uh, by the way, you weren't supposed to have that opportunity. Oops. What? what are you talking about? You got it by I accident, dude. Around. Everyone had that opportunity. It wasn't like just me. <laughs> Anyone who was they pulled the rug in post. In the partner program. And they gave him a shitty excuse. Opportunity. What happened was... That's great. That's great. I signed up for it. What was the trolls? My trolls. My trolls. The day before that I was going to do it. Immediately. The World of Tanks social media account and spam the fuck out of it with hateful shit. Why doesn't anybody spam the fuck out of it with positive shit? Why does DSB have so many trolls and not anyone to stick up for him? It's almost like people don't like him enough. Wow. It's almost like that. Do you like, he doesn't have an actual fan base that is vocal. He only has a troll base. And those people, you know, are toxic as fuck. That's why they shouldn't be getting opportunities like that. Do you want, you know, do you want uh, this guy advertising your game? Yes. He's a pedophile. He's a scammer. He is a scammer. He's that every disgusting thing you can think of. Okay. Not a pedophile, though. Spammed it with. Not yet, though. So obviously, Maybe the next girlfriend is going to be, like, 14. After being bombarded for a day 
on their social media, the World of Tanks dev team contacted Twitch behind the scenes and says, we don't want Phil playing our game because we feel like it's going to be just negativity because look at these people who are just following him around. We don't want that. So Twitch pulled the offer, even though I already announced I was doing it. Okay. <laughs> so then I decided let's do a different this is great. indie game. I can't even remember what it was uh, called. This like with the chair. This is exactly the same thing that happened with the gaming chair. That people exposed this guy for being a drop shipper, basically, and buying shitty chairs from China and then selling them as a brand. And then DSP already gave him a shout out and he got super salty. Old. LOL or something like that? It was supposed to be like a... The dude doesn't even know. It's Elo Hell. A parody of League of Legends, like a League of Legends streamer or yes. something like that? Because when ELO is when you play ranked, and when you're in ELO hell, you can't progress in your rank because you lose too many games. I played it for like an hour. And by the way, it wasn't even released yet. It was like an early copy of the game. I played it for an hour. I thought it was okay. I didn't hate it. I thought for an indie studio, it was an interesting take because it was a narrative-based game that was supposed to be emulating like League of Legends. So I thought it was kind of unique. So, I, you know, I play it genuinely. I give you my honest thoughts about it. Come to find out, guess what happened? My, my haters went my haters. to their social media, to their Discord account. <laughs> we were talking in, in the Discord how funny it is when DSP says haters. When a grown-ass man says, my haters. And all the, again, he's a pedophile. He's a, he's racist, a pedophile. He's a sexist. He's a sc- I like how he immediately jumps to the pedophile one because it's the least viable one that is obviously not true. Hammer, he's this, he's that, which is all false. But they send all this shit, and what does the company do? They, Whoa, we don't want to be associated with Dark Side Phil then. So then they tell Twitch, we don't want to do it. And Twitch is like, he already did it. You know, he already did it. What are you talking about? He already did the promotion. And the company apparently behind the scenes was trying to do everything they could to not pay me, but they had to legally. So I got paid for that one, okay? The last one I ever got an offer... It should be a clue of how bad you are if World of Tanks pulled a sponsor stream. Like raid they sponsor anybody. Yeah. Really impressive. I think even I had a, a raid opportunity on uh, on Streamlabs. I think Streamlabs just give it out to everybody if you're willing to do it for raid. They're super desperate. And World of Tanks is in, in those ranks as well. And they pulled it out. So imagine. This dude must, must, must be next level. Able to do was... Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah. Now, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I'd already been playing. I had already been doing a playthrough of the game and really enjoying it. I had actually been telling you guys how I liked Odyssey way more than Origins the year before. Oh, I hate that game so much. So, oh, I mean, Odyssey. Doing a promotion for this game. It's basically The Division, but uh, with Assassin's Creed. And Assassin's Creed is in quotes because it's not Assassin's Creed. Or, excuse me, uh, I'll play through. You can't even assassinate somebody when he's sleeping. If he's one level higher than you, you just stab him in the throat and he just gets up like nothing happened. Of the game. It was a no-brainer that I should take up the opportunity to do the paid promotion. Uh, you know, all I had to really do was... Oh, no. Did you fucking see this disgusting man? Picked his ear, then looked at it, and did he wipe it off on his jammies? Already do Did he do that again? Promotion for this Let's game. pay attention. Uh, excuse me, uh, I'll play. Not gonna put this in, in point five, because that's just too much. Game. But yeah. Brainer, that I should take look a- at this, look at this. Pick, pick, pick. Uh, you know. Oops, let's take a glance. Is it good? Is it gold? It's not gold, you guys. It fucking it sucks. Chiyuan with and he wiped it up somewhere. Oh, and, and we keep going. Oh, that yes, this portion was the- Very nice. Goal. Uh, material for it. Very nice. This, is he wiping it on the chair? So I did so. What I, are you I doing don't... there? What are you fucking doing there? Continue on with my own playthrough. Okay, this is the second oh, time. Yes, this point. And now we're touching the chair. Uh, material for oh. it. Oh. Okay. So I did so. I signed up for it. Come on. I played the game for like two hours. On the gamer the chair. Stream. Everything went fine. I got paid. All right? I got paid. I didn't hear anything back, but within two weeks of me doing that stream. You got paid though. My entire section on Twitch that's supposed to give me offers of promotional opportunities was blanked out. Oh, no. <laughs> so I started asking so good. other people who were in the partner program. Is yours blanked out? No, I got, hey, this sir. I got that opportunity. I got this opportunity. Hey, sir, Moist, do you got a, a bounty board? Yes, I do, sir, Phil. Opportunity. Huh? So basically, they're singling me out. Oh, I see. So oh, I, I see. This was a stealth bag. Contacted them. And I asked Twitch what was going on, and they lied to me. Twitch they lied. was completely dishonest with me and lied and said, oh, that's technical difficulties. I said, technical difficulties? What are you talking about? It's, isn't it a coincidence that I did a two-hour promotional stream for a big company like Ubisoft? I, I understand why they would lie to him, because how do you justify somebody being a partner 
but being that much a piece of shit where you can't give them a, a bounty board. So of course they're gonna lie. And within two weeks of me doing it, you removed all my opportunity. Yeah. I was like, did I do something wrong? Oh no, you did absolutely nothing wrong. Trust us, that's a technical difficulty. It is a technical difficulty. Two months difficulty. later, still gone. Still gone. So I emailed them another. Well, not emailed. It was uh, this was my old uh, partner manager. This was the guy, the Twitch, Twitch guy. Person, quite frankly, they never helped me with anything. They were just there to yell at me about nonsense after the fact, rather than actually be an active contact that would help me with anything. <laughs> so they only reached out when he got in trouble. They yelled at me for nothing after the fact. Oh, sounds like you did nothing wrong, Sir Phil. You did everything correct. Um, but I contacted them on Discord. Oh, Discord! You have a Discord, though. Discord! And you get this face. This is your screenshot segment of the day. Enjoy. Oh. Yes, you fucking nudniks. I always Wait, had what? A Discord to have to talk to companies like this. Oh, now he had a Discord to have to talk to companies like this. And through this Discord, people verified that he was in Champions uh, Guilds and in Guild servers because uh, that ID you have associated with your Discord, you actually can't, can't change that one. You can change your handle, but not the ID. So big ups, DSP. You, you just debunked yourself. You always needed that. You fucking that nudniks. You conversed back then. You needed a Discord account. But that was the only thing I ever used my Discord for was to talk, basically, to my Twitch partner manager. And every once in a while, if there was another opportunity behind the scenes or something, like there was at one point uh, where there was a, an opportunity where I was going to do a partnership with a company, it fell through, but I had to talk to them. You know, stuff like that. Anyway, um, so I reached out to my partner manager again on Discord, and I was like, dude, I was like, I, it's been like three, four months. I still don't have any promotional opportunities in my queue. And yeah, he was saying for like a thousand years that he never had any Discord. He doesn't even know how Discord works. And then there was his Discord leaks that show that he had a an Elden Ring's hand-holding channel where people would just send him hand-holding guides. And there was other Discord leaks when he was shitting on Wings and saying something along the lines of, imagine being a guy who's still playing games for a living when you don't even like games anymore. Good thing I love gaming. That was so fucking good. There's a based Oslo video on it. It's, it's really funny. If you want to see the screen caps, you can go check it out. And I'm not even kidding you. He came, this was probably the last time I talked to him. And he came back to me again. He was like, oh no, I swear. It's a technical difficulty. And I, at the last thing I said to him, I was like, dude, if you're just going to lie... For the company, then don't ever talk to me because you're just you're worthless. You're <laughs> Never like talk worthless to me or my son ever again. Person, you're a worthless person. Did you tell him he's a worthless person? Did he tell him he's a worthless person? I'm not sure. Difficulty, and I, at the last thing I said to him, I was like, dude, if you're just gonna nude lie, Nick. yeah, he talked. That was his Twitch guy, the nude Nick. He was always naked. He would send him like dick pics and stuff. That's why he's so angry. Hey, for the company, then don't ever talk to me. Big ups to work this pic. You're like a worthless person. You're like a worthless person. He's so fucking positive that he's going toxic on a guy that he talked to like five years ago. What are you, you're just lying through your teeth. You're a worthless person. Be honest with You're me. a worthless person. <laughs> like this is the height of unprofessionalism. That's the kind of shit I say about him. Come on, DSP. So just don't waste your time anymore, right? And I'm not kidding. He just he basically never responded again. Right. And then he got laid off. They fired him. Oh. He even told me that he got fired because the next time I reached out to him, which was for like a copyright issue, he didn't work for the company anymore. Yeah, well, you told him he's fucking worthless. Do you expect to get a, a text back, you fucking asshole? <laughs> yeah. So how funny was that? And then after that, like I said, basically with... with, with, with oh, yeah. The, the way he said laid off means that that guy got fired. But when DSP was in the helicopter company, he got laid off. He didn't get fired. He got laid off. So it wasn't his performance that got him fired. It was lay, being laid off, right? So you see how objective he is. Every, all these companies, Machinima, Twitch, they start off good. They have all these well intentions of things they do good for you. And then they just fuck up t constantly and fall apart. You know, at one point, Twitch was well intentioned. They wanted to give all these great opportunities to, to streamers. But the moment that there's some kind of a problem, oh my God, this person has trolls, right? Oh my God! Get yeah, you know. <laughs> Maybe you have trolls for a good reason, though. Trolls exist for a reason. They don't just exist to troll. If I go to a random, uh, 
streamer on Twitch that has the same views that DSP got, I'm sure he's not going to have anywhere near as much trolling as this guy got. If anything, if any trolling whatsoever. Oh, can't deal with that. Punish the person for having trolls, which is literally what's happened to me every business, whether it was Curse, whether it was Stream Elements, Stream Labs, Teespring, the partner program on Twitch, this this promotional things on Twitch. I get punished for having trolls. Yeah, I didn't really expect a lengthy troll rant today, but yeah, you do get punished for having trolls because you have trolls for good reason. How trolls the exist for a reason. They don't just exist. Fuck, is that my fault? What did How is it my fault? You know what I mean? Like, how could I get... What did I do to get trolls? That's an actual question. Rid of that. I can't. It's not my fault. So how the fuck do I get, how, stop that? I, you know, how do I not get any opportunities because trolls harass people? Okay, grow up. Trolls are always on the internet. Trolls will always be on the fucking internet. They're not going away. And every time you entertain stuff like that, you just make it worse. When you entertain a troll and you give them the attention they want and you show them that they have power, all it does is make them do it more. So congratulations to Twitch, to Streamlabs, to Stream Elements, to Teespring, and to every other dumb fuck company that doesn't <laughs> understand that literally just more nonsense is better than entertaining it. You are so unprofessional and you don't understand. You just call them a dumb fuck company and you're telling them they're unprofessional. Enjoy never being dealt business with by anybody else. You just call them dumb fucks and then call them unprofessional. Fantastic. I love this guy. He's so professional. He just wiped his uh, earwax on the chair, by the way, and looked at it beforehand because it was very important to get an estimate of how waxy it is, if it's good enough. Maybe he wanted to eat it, but it wasn't enough. Nah, that you empowered more people to do toxic things to others on the internet. Wow, you're dumb. <clears throat> well, they even empowered more trolls by taking them off the service for being a shitty person to begin with very nice anyway it makes a lot of sense there's nothing i can do about it that's why they all kind of just went away um you know now i don't even bother like what's the point because the thing is i get these opportunities all the time like i said but you know exactly what would happen the moment that i take one of these and it goes through and it works the harassment begins again the harassment so begins the cycle of this so why even bother I enjoy being independent. I enjoy not shilling. Where are your fans, though? Where are the fans? Where are the fans at to support DSP when that shit is happening? Because actual streamers got fans to back oh, them up. Positive. Happy people keep an enemies list. Of course, yes. He has an extensive list of enemies. People that ghost him or shadow ban him. Or don't or don't respond to him straight away. To be Puts him on a big list. Right next to the bills. I am. You know what I mean? And stay true to myself. And I'm just happy about that. That I can do that. Um... So, I don't care about it anymore. I don't care about it. Point, I was pretty upset about it. I was pretty upset at, at some point, but now I made a lengthy rant about it, therefore I don't care. Somehow this makes sense. Because if you remember years ago, those were opportunities that were maybe going to allow me to save myself from the financial problems I was in. You know, if I had been getting ongoing promotional opportunities with streams and stuff, maybe I wouldn't have gotten as bad financially as I did. But what can you do? They were all taken away from me. Right? Nothing they were do. taken away from me, dude. All right, let's continue. Nothing I could uh, do. We can all get to the tip side of things. This wasn't even a snow carl tip. So now we're about to get okay. a snow carl tip. So on the tip side of things, we start off today with a $10 tip. <clears throat> we get a 10 Please keep this anonymous. All right, so first of all, a $10 anonymous tip to get our, our tipping started for today. Let's go ahead and get that animation for you. The streamlined animations that he needs to play manually because they're streamlined. Very easy to play. He just needs to find it and then click on it. And then type the name out. Alright. Please ask the Magic 8-Ball. Am I going to rage at the Sonic game today? Good question. I wonder. I wonder if the game will be like like interesting and unique and, and chill. Or will it actually be rage-inducing? Let's find out. Will I rage at Sonic today? Outlook, not so good. You know, maybe we'll be so early into the playthrough that there won't be opportunity for rage maybe later on <laughs> you know i'd be so shocked if there's nothing in this game that makes me rage but anyway thank you for that anonymous tip to get the tipping started then i received a five dollar tip let's do the animation for that yep another streamlined style animation let's get it up there all right and this is from <laughs> this fucking th this animation dude with a uh, atreus from God of War, but face swapped with Phil. Um, Ultra Super Snow Carl Turbo HD Remix. Of course. 
says, sorry, I cannot watch your streams for the next few days. I don't want to spoil Sonic or God of War for myself because I bought both games, but I'll wait until Black Friday to get a PS5 on a discount. <laughs> well, there you go. Totally understand. And this always happens. Whenever there's a new release, there's a there's a mix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the fake Snow Carl got him rambling about nonsense. Spoil yourself on I received a $2 tip, and this person literally just reiterated what I just said. If you end up getting a sponsorship, trolls will just harass people anyway. So thank you for that. I don't even have to continue to talk about that because we just did. Trolls be trolling, dude. There. This sucks. They took it away from me. Then I, I did nothing a $2 wrong. $2 tip from Alex from Phoenix. It says, always glad to see a new Sonic game premiere. Why did you if dox him? childhood, a great week for gaming. It's time for some fun. Now the yeah. trolls are going to look for every Alex in Phoenix and find him. Yeah. And ask him why he's giving money to DSP. This is a great week. I agree with you. It's a great week because you got variety of content. You got new games coming out. It's it's a good... All right. All right. I received another $10 tip. Um, No name on this one. It said, I'm nearly shitting myself in anticipation of DSP's God of War Ragnarok playthrough. It's okay to nearly shit yourself, but don't fully shit yourself. Don't go full self-defecation. That would be... Uh, not a good call. Trust Why? Me. If it's an on a mouse, he's he's got the he's got the diaper going on, so that's okay. Me on that one. Um, but yeah, uh, oh, I really DSP I fans. A great day. We're gonna have a good time with the story. The gra I can't wait to see how it looks on PS5. <clears throat> so I'm not kidding you. I've not seen a single piece of gameplay of this on PS5 at all. I I stayed away. I made sure that I was not spoiled whatsoever uh, on this game. So take a sip. It. If I get 100 likes on stream today, everything is appreciated. Super chat, super stickers, tips, memberships. It all helps the channel. We've already talked about the members goal for December. We as a special treat. The special you treat. All this, right? We already know. Why did you have to mention it, though? If we already know. It's like those rappers that, that come on a song and you're like, you already know who it is. And why did you have to say, I know who it is? It's in the title of the song. And T says, I just. Big ups, uh, Buddha Finger for his sub. This game for three hours. It's the best 3D Sonic game. In decades. That's good to know. Hobo X says, Was Curse the only company you worked with that was actually up front with you about ending partnerships and didn't ghost you? Yes. Absolutely. One million percent <laughs> Curse was the only company ever to be transparent with me and explain what was Charles actually Charles did 9-11 to ruin his life. Fred flew the airplane. Wait, why? Okay, is this one gonna get red? Will Phil snoof the pamps. Will he snoof the pamps? I don't know. He might do it as a clown segment. He's going to turn on the clown thing and snoof the pamps. Oh my god, this smells like poopy. Ugh. Yeah, trolls did the 911, dude. Everyone else I had to find out from like... <laughs> it was an organized op. Other means. Whoa. Okay. That was a nice um, one. Like, for example, like I said, with Twitch, someone who actually was on the inside told me. Someone on the inside. Here's the evidence. Here's what happened. Um, in the other cases... I actually found out that the idiots had posted on social media about what they were sending to the companies. And like I said, it was like 10 to 12 year old outdated shit. And that's what got me kicked out of there. them. Even oh, it rip. Nothing to do with who I am as a person today. You accept it does. So dumb that they just entertained it and basically canceled me for things that were 12 years old. That's how professional these companies are. Yeah, that's how professional you are. You just burped into the microphone. That's how professional you are. Uh, but yeah, Curse was up front. Curse was like, ah. Oh. We receive so many false reports about you on a daily basis, we can't handle them anymore. We're getting so many that our manpower can't handle checking and vetting each one. The thing is, every single one we've checked has been false. We then just throw them all in the trash. Never had a single valid complaint about you, but the complaints still keep coming in. Makes me feel like they didn't want to keep him in the first place, and that was kind of an excuse to take him off. So there's Because they know he's a whiner, and he's been kicked off a bunch of stuff for being a whiner and being toxic as fuck. And they just wanted to get rid of him, and this was an easy complaint. It was an easy excuse. I have to cut you because we can't keep. Kind of sounds like it, but I don't know, man. If you have people on the inside, then I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe he did nothing wrong all along. It was just fake reports. Everything and was, was fake. Like, wow, that's remarkable. Wow. That your company is going to do that. Um, in reality, it didn't matter because just a few months after YouTube changed the way partnerships worked. And there was zero advantage to being with a partnership company anymore. Anyone could just monetize any video on YouTube. It didn't matter. You didn't need to be with a, a, a company like Curse or Screenwave or Full Screen or Machinima. Wallowing Whiskey said, I wonder why they didn't make a policy to ignore your reports. They explained that. They said, if we ignore your reports, 
and God forbid, not to say that you would do this, but let's say one day you do make a mistake. <laughs> let's say, let's say one day you would do it, because he's not known for making mistakes, even though he admitted admitted multiple times that when in the past, when he was drunk, he made mistakes, because he's a fallible human. You screw up, and we don't. Uh, we're not saying that you're gonna do this, Phil. You're not gonna do this, obviously, but we can't take that risk. Vet that report and punish you for it. Of course. You're now held responsible by YouTube, and YouTube can punish us severely for having someone under our umbrella who we did not discipline ourselves because that's actually part of the partnership agreement is that when you sign someone to a partnership, you're responsible for their actions on YouTube. And if they violate YouTube's terms of service in any way, you have to punish that partner and or kick them out of your program. So if they just ignored it, they could be legally liable for stuff that happens. That's why. <clears throat> now, again, today it's different. Today it's so, it's so different. Partner networks don't even really exist in the capacity they did anymore. So it might be completely different now, you know. Oh, uh, here we go. Bubbles. Bubbles. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, thanks for Albanian chat who let me know. And I verified it through the AEW Games Twitter that I, and I quote, this also seems like a good time to share that we don't anticipate the game being part of any monthly gaming subscription services. So not day one. But we're blowing bubbles now, so that's that's cool. It's bubble time. That's cool. Bubble time. Thanks, everybody. And you get this. Congrats. You win. Very nice bubble blow. That was Very cool. nice, yeah. Very nice. And Dong says, listen to this. Do you remember when you got Sonic... And Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games several years ago. Was that 2018? I want to say it was 2018, wasn't it? Or was it 2020? No, it was 2020, wasn't it? I can't even remember at this point. But anyway, he says, you got that game and, and you played it and basically you, you were very negative towards it. Did that damage your relationship with Sega? Do you think you could have gotten Frontiers early? Uh, I'm honestly not sure. Here's the thing. I didn't get that game from Sega. That was what happens is the, a lot of these companies hire third party agencies to represent <laughs> them, especially if they have a game where they feel they really want that game to do better and there really doesn't seem to be much buzz or hype for that game. They will hire a third party company to go out and, and try to get the word out on that game for them. And in that case, a company sought me out. I was not out there looking for anything. A company contacted me three years ago. Me, it was like, we really? like a free copy of Sonic and Mario or Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, and I was like, well, I was already thinking of playing it. Dude, this whole fucking pre-stream was I'm not a shill, but here are all the times that I was. But if you give me because they gave me stuff for free and they offered me stuff and then they took it away because uh, people are toxic. Copy, I'll absolutely play it, but understand that I'm going to be honest. They were like, yeah, that's fine. You, you know, we just want people to play it to get exposure, so you can have a copy of it. So they gave it to me. I played it, and it was atrociously bad. It was just completely almost unplayable online. They didn't really put in any kind of matchmaking or anything that made any sense. It was kind of a free-for-all, bare-bones game that they really fucked up. Um, and I was honest about it. And, of course, I never heard from that agency again. Why would I? Right? If I kissed the game's butt, probably the agency would have contacted me again, right? But who knows, right? Shrug. I don't know. You don't know. I have no idea. We don't know, but here's all the times that I've got something for free or sponsored. And also, I don't look for those things, and I don't want them because I'm real. But that wasn't Sega. That was a third-party company. Right. Hardly, so. Shout out to Pila, who just did a super chat and says, play Frontiers on hard. You'll get a special final, special final block. Nope. Not getting it. Okay. Yeah, he's going to wear the Sonic hat today if he gets paid to do that, of course. He is wearing it. When he gets paid, because of course it's gonna happen. It's a premiere stream, you guys. Oh, let's see. Somebody's gonna take one for the team and send him a bunch of money. They're just waiting to see how much money exactly they need to send him, and the less the better. Here, because people really like DSP. Jump into Sonic. Awesome. Let's jump into Sonic. There's actually going to be an expensive expansion. That's like maybe even seventy dollars, which I think is ridiculous. <clears throat> how can you sell that and act like that's not, uh? A whole new game. Yeah, we don't fucking care, DSP. And beans and steak medium rare. I got it on on a scale today and model. By the way, he spelled it wrong. It's supposed to be. Of course, it. DSP knows how to spell it because it's Italian. The D. 
Um, so he's trying to do. He Italian begged for stuff. money to buy this, then got upset when losing and admitted it was free. But he's honest and transparent, all right. Throat clear, a hem snort. Oh, really? Really? I need to. I need to check that out sometime. Um. Because I know this game has been a thing. It's kind of like the untitled Goose game when he was complaining about it, then DJ Runo gave him man money for it, and then he refused to do it. He misspelled a lot of it. But then I think he ended up playing it anyways. I don't know, man. That shit. The, 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 these like little pathetic details with him are so annoying. The $10 tip. $10 yeah, tip, big ups. Yeah, I think Italian food is delicious and also usually very, very heavy. <laughs> of course, that's why you look like this, because you're authentic as fuck. Anyway. Woke Moron did a super chat. So I trust Skill Up. He did not recommend the game. I don't know who that is. You don't know Skill Up. Shill Up. You I don't know him? Back. I think I saw Skill Up. I think I've seen I've never seen a reviewer that I'm like trust. Uh, I, I trust him, but I also really don't agree with him on, on a lot of stuff. So it's like he kind of embellishes stuff and twists the negative of a game to a positive. So he's going to play Far Cry 6, for example, and he's going to say, oh, you guys, this is more of the, the old Far Cry you like. But if it's more of it, then why do I have to pay full price for the same shit? Skill up. On social media before. Uh, but it's more of the same, you guys. You got to love it. Everyone, Just the, consume. Everyone, Just buy it for free. Everyone seems to have a different opinion. From the internet on a torrent site. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people think it's just okay. Some people think it's great. Some people hate it. It's a weird situation. I want to judge for myself today. I really do. I see for myself what it's all about. So, And if he likes it, he's going to go on Twitter shit all, uh, all over the reviewers that gave it low scores. Remember yesterday, he was crying about people giving the game a 2, and then he forgot to say he, they gave it a 2 out of 5, and he made it seem like they gave it a 2 out of 10. And he was crying about it as if they gave it a 2 out of 10. And a 2 out of 5 is, you know, it's, it's still a low score, but it's nothing like a 2 out of 10. <laughs> oh, man. Genetics says, I uh, wish you a great stream day. Really appreciate your interaction with the community and your consistency. Thank you, Genetics. And then he has a, then he has a pillow like this, like I'm falling asleep. Whatever that means. Because of the shit they put me through, I mean... Wait, what? Now we get a troll segment. Is this a snow call? No, I'm not playing on hard mode. Sorry. Not a hard, not a hard style mode. I'm happy I don't have to deal with Twitch anymore because of the shit they put me through. I mean, honestly, I've told you this. Ever since I started streaming on YouTube, I don't feel like I'm walking on eggshells, which is great because at least on YouTube, you know, I get judged for what I actually do, right? On YouTube, I'm not going to get judged and say you did something or said something you didn't do, which is literally what they do. Um, How dumb is that, right? I'm playing a game... And someone says, oh, Phil... Also, skill up. I had this problem with him. Uh, he played... What was this game? Oh, god damn. What was it? Um, oh, damn. I'm going to I'm gonna remember it in a second. Word. And then he report me, and I get suspended. Then come to find out I never said it. Oh, we'll release your suspension now. But you suspended me erroneously. Oh, yeah. Uh, the new Saints Row. The new Saints Row. He got early access to it. He did his impressions video, and he said it looked okay. Right, the the title of the video is "It Looks Okay," and you watch the video, and it's pretty like positive-ish. And then when he released his actual review, like two months later, when it was obvious the game was trash to begin with, he was like, "Yeah, this game is fucking garbage. This game sucks. It's it's awful." I think that was even the title of his video. So yeah, on your impressions video, when the game was basically the finished product, you got to play. You said it was okay, but then it was garbage. You're you're a good enough gamer. You've been playing games for long enough to know when a game is trash from the get-go. But you thought it was okay at first, right? Very interesting. Very genuine. You punished me and my business. You shut down my fucking stream in the middle without evidence. Without you're evidence. You're unprofessional. You also agreed that they don't have to provide evidence. You agreed to this. Somebody in chat pointed it out, and you said yes, they don't have to give me any evidence. You should fucking be punished for punishing me. Incorrectly. You should be punished. Right. Everyone else should be punished but him. That's how they operate over there. On YouTube, that shit usually doesn't happen. You know, on YouTube, they're fair. And even if something goes wrong, you at least get a series of escalations as well. Now, I've heard there's extreme circumstances. If you absolutely are doing outright threats of, of, of you know, dangerous things, then you'll get shut down on YouTube like immediately. But, for example, I get hit with false copyright strikes, right? I was still able to stream. I was still able to make content, right? Um, 
you know, people were trying to false flag me for things like like violations of the YouTube uh, community guidelines. I contacted YouTube. I explained what was going on. It was all cleared up within a day. Everything was fixed. So there, the YouTube, at the very least, seems to be able to give you a lot more fairness when it comes to being judged for things. Um, uh, whoever got him to talk about this for the millionth time is terrible. Not to say that I, I come over here and I'm like, oh, no, I can just do whatever I want and watch this. I don't have to worry about nothing. No, obviously, I'm, I'm actively trying to make sure that I don't say and do stupid things. As I told you guys, as I get older, as I become a more uh, experienced content creator <laughs> and streamer, I'm doing my best. To make How much more experience do you need to have than 15 years of doing this? After 15 years, he should have like millions of subs. 15 years doing this for a living, full time. He should have millions of subs, making millions of dollars, having hundreds of connections in the industry, getting all his games for free. And if he's still on level one, then something terribly went wrong in his business. And it's all his fault sure that I don't say things that hurt others that I'm in line with what I don't say things that hurt others except I call everybody idiots and morons including people who give me money for no reason uh, and I call them morons for no reason it's expected of me as a, as a public figure which I am even though I'm not a very popular one I understand I still am one um you know what I mean you gotta be careful anyway of what you're saying but at least here, I'm not getting falsely accused, you know? And on top of that, I just don't get bombarded with false copyright shit. Remember on Twitch how bad it was getting? What about the false copyright strikes you got when you watch the This Is How You Don't Play? And you beg the wings trolls to leave you alone? Come on, you guys. If you take down all the lol cows, what else do you have? Who are you going to make fun of? You should leave me here so you can make fun of me. That was him. That was him. And now he's not worried about false copyright strikes. Even though he complained about members not extending their membership, not renewing their membership because they were scared. Give me a break. Who was submitting false claims to Twitch saying that they worked for the companies that made the games and they kept taking down my streams with zero evidence. They just didn't care. They just kept taking down my stream with zero evidence. You know, it's ridiculous. On YouTube, they don't, that shit doesn't fly. On YouTube, they want evidence that you are who you say you are, you know. Except the false copyright strikes he got that I just talked about, that right cool sounds good but hey he did clear them up he did clear them up that's that's why he's saying this i guess i don't know you need to do a lot of mental gymnastics to make the things that he says make sense so yeah i would say there are active improvements to things here on youtube compared to how they were on twitch i'd say there is a, a higher air professionalism here super professional pila thank you for another super chat saying you'll see uh, I'm using donations to let you know. Well, that's why I can restream him and get away with it because uh, YouTube is mega professional. Again, I don't just care about getting money, you guys. I'm not going to play it on hard. I'm just not. I'm not one of these guys who, when I play a game, I need to prove my ultimate fucking gaming skill. Isn't that why you fought the Tree Sentinel in Elden Ring the moment you came out of the first spawn? Isn't that why you spent 36 deaths on that guy to prove people wrong? And then you shit on the people that didn't fight him because they were pussies. And I think he actually called them pussies. I think he actually did. And remember when he played Resident Evil 2 Remake on the hardest difficulty just to prove he's a gamer? Yeah, that, that was a thing that happened. By immediately playing on a harder difficulty, a game that I don't even know what it's like. I, you know, I didn't play it yet. I'm not doing that. Not doing that. People do that. Oh, look at the size of my e penis because I play every game <laughs> hard on my stream. I'm just such a great <laughs> gamer, and I really got to prove my uh, the internet. Who okay. Gives a fuck. Just All right. Game to have fun. I don't care. <laughs> right. Okay. She Why are we still in the Q and A? Why are we still doing this? Views here are mixed. Hope that it's at least entertaining. I'm on the same boat as you. I agree. No, I'm not starting the game on hard mode. You can stop asking me now. You're wasting your time. Oh, and now okay. he's just being rude. Okay. He could have just ignored those people instead of being an asshole. Because at this point, they're just asking him to play on hard just to annoy him, and it's working. Somebody should say in chat, Hey, Phil, you should relax. Remember this? Oh, you guys, when I get too angry, you should say, Phil, Phil, just relax. And I'm going to relax. I guess nobody is saying, Phil, please relax in chat. That's why he's being toxic as fuck. All right, last chance. 
to toss a question my way before we last chance set up here ask him to play on hard today again reminder sonic hat special we hit the hundred dollar tip something special sonic hat on stream today so okay. special first sonic playthrough but it's fine thank you pila for the super chats i and i don't know the character so it's chan wrote or whatever wait what i know what it is isn't that the the freaking like the sonic fan service storylines that uh chris chan wrote or whatever i don't know I <laughs> sonic two <clears throat> the sonic two shout out big up sonic two and Raichu. two no, it wasn't and asper true it had to be sonic especially asper true big ups asper true and colors because Sonic Color and Liquid Chris, Liquid Chris gets the biggest shout out. It was in Sonic Generations. Ah, that's right. Sonic Generations had the colors characters in it, so you its colors had to be first on the Wii. So that was my first Sonic playthrough, to my knowledge. Sonic uh, Colors. Okay, and he called it fan service. Yeah, he called it fan service <laughs> instead of fan fiction. Anyways, he's a mature adult. He's a professional. He knows what he's talking about. Some sometimes Anything else? when he talks about food, and he's wrong. Or are we good? We're good. Bean? Chestnuts? I think I've only had. We saw. Let's end the show, everyone. Let's end the show, and you get this. Okay. Let's get set up. Let's get set up, and I guess that's it. Let's skip to the present, and see where we on tips. Is this fifty? Oh, rings respawn. I can't see you guys. Yeah, it's fifty. Uh, busting out the glasses. He's Wait, playing real good. I do. Look. Look. I have to do this again. It undid it. Like, I never did it. Dude, this is such hot gameplay. You guys want to watch some of this nonsense? Maybe I can play the cat song in the background while we watch this. That would be pretty fun. Uh, if you weren't here in the beginning, I made a really stupid song about cat because I love her so much and I'm really nasty to her all of the time. So I wanted this time to be nice. So I made a song about her, and I put all of my heart and all of my love in it. Because I'm nice. Oh, I don't have this logged in. Okay, I'm going to go get it. Uh, in the meantime, we can watch this. Hey, there it is. I'm going to play it in the background. Okay, now we already did it. Oh my God, I have to do it again? The song is called Raccoon Eyes. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat, big ups. I first saw you in Burger King, you took two seats cause that ass is way too big, had a boyfriend I realized. Dash is here. Wipe away your tears. Got you extra fries, and they taste just right. Have no fear. There's no trolls here. Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes. Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. And this was the latest song. And I guess this is going to be the, the future of music. <laughs> Because I ran out of DSP clips to work on, so I'm just I'm just shit posting like actual performances at this point. Sonic Frontier Soul Stranding. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jade. Thank you for reopening your membership, Jade. I appreciate your ongoing support. Hey, big ups, Jade. Michael Gamer says, "What's going on with the goals today? If we get hundred dollars in tips, I wear the Sonic hat." And hey, it's Team Michael Gamers. Your choice of vest. So we need to say all of the goals we got, because he's gonna he's gonna swing by and support. This is actually really boring. I'm contemplating just fucking off i think 
I like the common rains. Actually sounds really nice. I received a ten dollar tip. <clears throat> Anonymous tippers, I want to see the Sonic app today. I hope we will hope hit the hundred dollar tips goal. There you go. Thank you for the ten dollar tip. <clears throat> Indeed that gets us to sixty. Let's play that animation for you. Thank you for the support on the stream today as we explore Sonic Frontiers. I think it's relaxing. I really like this music. So, there's stuff down there, see? There's all kinds of stuff to do. Uh-oh. Legit banger, I love it. Make uh -oh. more meerkat. <laughs> this is not even the finished one. I'm probably going to add some more verses. I'm going to add some more verses about some other stuff. About Jeff. About Jenna, maybe. Yeah. And this gameplay is not very hot. It's kind of... It's, it's leaving me cold. I want to watch some of those shills play God of War, but I won't. Because I'm not toxic like that. Uh, I don't know what I can do. I guess I'm going to go. Because it's like 10 p.m. at this point. And I got to get up to work tomorrow because uh, work style life. So let's listen to the vest song again. And that's going to be it. Thanks, everybody, for swinging by, contributing, and watching this nonsense. So, um, yeah, big ups. Little piggy. Wow, now I show up in the in the search before the actual Lil Piggy rapper who got like 50 views. So yeah, we did it, you guys. We did it. Vest is best is the song you deserve. You definitely earned it for sitting through this fucking nonsense and coping for like two hours. This vest is a... Oh, uh, if we hit 100 likes, because I don't have a way of uh, of telling. If we hit 100 likes, you can give yourself some uh, some bubble blow emotes in chat. I'm going to turn on the Kappa Gen so they can show up. So give yourself a, a round of, of bubble blows while the song is playing. And that's going to be it. Big ups. It's a symbol of that positivity. It's a symbol that together we can have fun as long as we stay positive. We can overcome anything together. I firmly believe at this point in my life, all right, that no matter what comes my way, that we can work together to overcome it, all right? But that being said, <clears throat> it's time for something new. Which vest is best? Which, which vest is e-beggar best? Okay, vest is best. Vest, yeah. Hold on, I didn't read the meth bear dono. I don't know why it didn't pop up. Did it pop up? I don't think it did. But big ups for the for the five uh, contribution of uh, PayPal style contribution. Getting the community strikes cleared up in a day involved him editing titles or deleting videos. Obviously, he did nothing wrong. Yeah, that was a, that was a really cool thing when people noticed a bunch of videos just going away, and he was using Pig Pig Go to find out which because he knows how to do that stuff. Big ups, meth bear. Young cat, got that 150 on my chest. Bitches all around me, and they let me touch their breasts. Got that saggy man boobs flowing, but that member's count keeps growing. So I got to put it on a vest. Vest. Vest is best. 150. Okay. 150 for the best. Okay. 150 and I put it on my chest. Okay. The best goal has been pretty hard to hit recently. And that's tough when, you know, things are tight. I get I get it. Things have been tight for a lot of people, you know. Another thing I don't want people to freak out about is the members. The members right now are super low. Yes, I'm feeling fucking blessed. Begging for hats and glasses and a vest. Coping and coping that the pay pigs will impress. Everybody's begging me. Stop spending on a WWE. Which vest, okay, is best. Which vest is e bigger best. 150 vest. 150 vest. Which vest for the best is best? Which 150 and I put it on my chest. Okay. Vest is best. Vest is best. Okay. Vest is best. 150. Vest is best. Vest is best. Vest is best. 
Vest is best. Vest is best. Keep, keep that drip going. Drip, drip, drip. That's Nord Hogan. Big ups.